Yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday live stream where we have changed our plans. I still want to do some Lone Star um, live streaming with you guys at some point because I really want to pick your brain and ideas for that game because I think it's got a tremendous amount of potential. Uh, also, The Last Flame, uh, which was originally what I was planning on doing a double stream for today, but I have gone ahead and recorded some Yubtub stuff for The Last Flame as well. Um, and yeah, probably will be streaming it. However, a new game has caught the internets by storm. Released yesterday, Pal World, which is made by a relatively small um, game dev team, has sold 2 million copies in 24 hours. I sold a million copies in its first eight hours. Um, it is just exceeding all expectations. And uh, it shows that there was definitely a craving from people for a similar to, but legally distinct from Pokemon game that is open world, survival, crafting, you know, uh, people are digging it. It's got multiplayer, although I will be playing single player today. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's a heck of a title. It just, it feels like a fairly solid open world survival game where you're using these balls to capture pals that you can then use to battle with but also deploy in your base as sort of like mass, I'm not gonna say forced labor, but kind of thing. <laughs> um, and uh, scale up to like massive amounts of industrialization and automating. Um, it plays a lot like Ark. It's got a little bit of that, and the, the, that automation mechanic that you might get from Satisfactory or Factorio. Well, at the same time, again, similar to, but hopefully, at least from uh, the developer's point of view, legally distinct from other maybe pocket monster games. Yeah, Prisoners with Jobs, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, we will see how uh, how this goes. We're gonna, we're gonna jump in. How's everyone doing? They have internships, that's what it is. Exactly, exactly. Uh, one of the things that's different, right, is, um, you know, like if, we, if you play a Pokemon game, Right, one of the things is obviously you're you're pitting creature against creature. Like some people are like, this is terrible, you're attacking these creatures. It's like, have you played a Pokemon game? I mean, I know Nintendo tries to like kind of wrap it in something kind of cute and cuddly and fine, but I mean it's it's really just like um cutified, you know, dog fighting or or something like that, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. The difference here is we will be starting out. Um, we will be doing the fighting more directly. So in a, in a way, it's more humane is what it is, right? Anywho, let's not dwell too much on it. Uh, we'll, we'll fiddle with the sound once we get in and see how it goes. There's not much in-game music. Um, I suspect it could probably stand to be a little louder. We'll, we'll do some ajustements as we go. Mm -mm -mm. If it's kawaii, you it can't be immortal. Exactly. Exactly. We have guns now, it makes it more humane. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh anyway, let's let's go ahead and start. So I've I've started last night. My idea was to just play for 30 minutes or an hour to learn the controls. I ended up playing like it was like 1.30 at night by the time I stopped. It's quite compelling. But we're gonna start a new world. The, 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 we all know the real reason we're not playing Lone Star's Quill didn't practice his dark helmet voice. Yeah, shout out to anyone uh who enjoys Spaceballs. What a great film that was. Still holds up today. Still holds up today. Um, I'm going to call, call this the uh, Twitch Chago Silence. So I can remember what's what. And yeah, I'm going to play no multiplayer. Normal difficulty is going to be fine. And we'll get it started. Spaceballs is the best Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. I mean, it's like Valheim. It's like Ark. It's like. I mean, pick pick a number of things. Um, okay, so here's uh, here's the question: Should we play as Quill or should we play as Petra? Now let's do a Twitch poll to see what people will prefer. So those are my two sort of avatars we tend to use: Manage poll, new poll, character for Pal World, um, Petra, or Quill. Start poll. There we go. So you should be able to clickify that and we'll see. So I think, yeah, I can still change the name. Um, 
So I think for uh, my character in my other run, I was doing Quill. I was like, oh, he's got hair and a beard. I mean, we can we can change a bunch of things. I'm like, OK, the body isn't entirely representative of me. Now it is. Look, look at this eight pack. That, that's 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 how abs work, right? That's how it functions. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what I look like when I take off my shirt. 100% accurate. Uh, where's the poll? So are we doing a Petra or a Quill? Oh, Petra's way ahead, 78%. So we're gonna do a Petra. Honestly, like the default avatar is not too bad, but you know what? Maybe we'll go with the blue hair. Oomp. Whoa, that is crazy weird. <laughs> oh, sliders are fun. Here, let, let's give her some, some beefy arms, beefier legs. There you go. Balance out the torso a little bit. Yeah, someone with muscles. M muscle mommy. A little bit of a of a <laughs> change the hair to red, make her Carlac, right? Is there like a red skin? To oh, there is. Oh, my God. We really could be Carlac. I can fix her. <laughs> lots of face options, too. You know, what? I like this one. Um, Dude. Oh, I like look, the hair's got little like Bouncy effects. Oh, that's quite cool. This is like, I'm a, I'm a plant. I like, I like this one a lot. Like th this one here. So the sort of back swept hair. I like that. You know, I really, I really like this. I don't know. Do we go blue hair? We got full sliders as well. We can do. Yeah, that's quite cool. We'd have to change our eyebrows to match, obviously. Black. I mean, the white is really neat too. According to Strongback, you gotta have blue hair. You're kind of right. Should we go with like um, a more, uh, there we go. Um, like a more saturated, darker blue? Huh? Yeah, okay. Um, where do we do the eyebrows? Right here. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Darken up those eyebrows. What about the eye color? Whoa. Ooh, you like the cat eyes? Cat eyes are kind of cool. Kind of looking for ideas. I don't think I want blue on blue. Greg's kind of neat. All right? Is it just me or Quill give Petra a slight variation of only hair? I, I wasn't going to say it, but with the back swept, I'm like, I mean, that's kind of just what I do. <laughs> Is I just brush it back in the morning? Yeah. Bit more of a deeper voice. All right, I like it. Let's go for it. Petra. Start game. We should get some official Petra arts. What does Petra canonically look like? That's actually a good idea. We should almost have a canonical version of Petra. I got to give her the same beard now. <laughs> they must have caught you trying to cross the border. Already the pals are super cute. Super cute. I haven't played many of the Lord of the Ring games. I really should. The tree holds the truth. Oh, I missed the first part of that. This is also Breath of the Wild. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait until we get a hang glider. I mean, there, there's a glider slot in our inventory right over here. So maybe. So we can go down the stairs behind us. We're on the plateau of beginnings. It faces this way, so let's go this way. I mean, visually, pretty good. Oh, there, I, that might be the tree they're talking about. Again, I did play, I think I played for three and a half hours last night. I can't remember exactly what my Steam play time was, but it was something like that. Um, and some of it was just sitting in the menu, so maybe about three hours of play. So, you know, I got, I got the feel for the general mechanics, but I didn't go exploring all over. So we've got Fast travel points. We got sticks we can pick up. How exciting. We got cute little sheepies over here. Lamb ball. I mean, it does remind me in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they did have some uh, little round sheepy creatures. But I mean, there's only so much you're going to do with sheep, which is going to be one of the issues of this, right? A castaway. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals watched up here. This island is a living hell. Oh, yeah, it feels like it. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. 
you be careful out there. I didn't notice actually I was talking to a girl. I, I mean, I guess she's got a really deep voice. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. I mean, again, I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't assume. But that was a pretty deep voice for the body size is what I'm saying. Uh, hey, we just leveled up. We're level two and we got technology points, by the way. Technology. All these techs. So these cost one each to unlock, right? So if I want to unlock the PAL box, which we'll be using later in the PAL sphere, these things will be using later and we can scroll down. And there's, it's not a tech tree, but there are a lot of text unlock, including a lot of things that are question marks. We got to find them in the world. And over here, we've got things that unlock with ancient technology. Leading all the way down to things like mounted missile launchers. Do -do. So we've got a tutorial little thing in the top right corner, right? Open the options menu with escape. Check the survival guide. Okay, click done. Oh, there you go. Um, open the build menu with B and select primitive workbench and set the build location and craft a pal sphere. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll just pick a little flattish area over here as just our initial little setup. We're not going to do a base over here. I don't know where, but I actually think I might I might travel to this area because this area doesn't have a fast travel point and your base acts as one. So I thought it might be a good idea to uh, to do that. That's not what I did in my other run. But when I started exploring around and after I discovered that my base counts as a fast travel point, I was like, hold on, this may be the way to go. Red berries, a pal sphere. Again, similar to, but legally distinct from a Pokeball. All right, let's slap down a little workbench. Boop. So we've got, oh, I might still have to unlock the, uh, uh, the primitive workbench, yeah. Oh, no, it's unlocked. How come, there it is. Oh, that was weird. It wasn't scrolling to the other tab until I, I clicked it a different way. Unless I was missing it. All right. Craft, 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 craft. Done. All right, craft a pal sphere. That sounds great, except I need some paldium fragments. Hello, chickens. We'll be back for you soon. I mean, I do have a pal sphere because I happened to loot a random one on the ground. Um, It's this blue rock stuff down here that we're going to want. Now, we're going to punch it by hand, although I do have the recipes unlocked for some of the tools, but, you know, it's a survival game. We didn't start by punching a tree, oddly enough, because I found enough sticks on the ground, but we're still going to punch some things. It's going to take a while to get a piece of uh, paldium. There we go. Paldium fragment. I think that's all I needed. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to go around and uh, craft ourselves an axe and a pickaxe. Um, What's great, actually... This game is also Assassin's Creed. I love that we have an open world game where cliffs aren't like a massive problem to your exploration. Oh yeah, also Zelda, you're right. I didn't play a ton of Breath of the Wild. I own it, um, but well, didn't play a ton. I probably still put like 10, 20 hours into it, but certainly didn't finish it anyway. Come back over here. Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to prioritize um, getting a stone axe. So we're going to build one of those. And I'm going to get a pickaxe as well. Because I, I don't want to use up all my resources on the uh, pal sphere. Yeah, so I need some more stone and I need some more stone. Okay, but that's fine because now we're in a better position to acquire some of those. So our pickaxe over here. We'll just go to this chunk of stone and do that. And seeing some people fall in love with the game already. Yeah, the thing is, and here's the thing, I don't have a, like, a strong nostalgia to something like Pokemon, for example, because I didn't play it growing up. I had a Game Boy, but I moved off of the Game Boy before Pokemon was really a thing. Like, I got my Game Boy for Tetris and Super Mario Land, and most importantly, and literally the reason I bought a Game Boy, the Final Fantasy Legend. Um, and I never, I didn't play Pokemon. The first time I played Pokemon was a few years ago. We, we started, the whole reason we have Monday live streams literally started just for a Poke Monday live streams. Um, so I'm not playing this because I'm like, ooh, I want a Pokemon game. I'm playing it because it's like, it's, it's actually kind of solid. I'm not even someone who really delves deeply into a lot of these like open world survival crafting games. I kind of get tired sometimes. 
Um, so right, I still, I think I was looking at the torch. I don't want the torch. I wanted the club, which didn't actually need the stone, but let's craft one pal spear just to advance the tutorial. And we'll create one club as well because we need to potentially mm, subdue some of the pals that we run into over here. As a 90s kid, definitely watch Pokemon TV after school. Yeah, I've never watched a Pokemon TV show. I did see um, Detective Pikachu, though. That was a great movie. Very enjoyable. Okay, to attack, attack pals to weaken them, and then press Q to throw a pal sphere and capture them. And then we'll be building a, a pal box. So, um, if I did want some extra pal sphere, which wouldn't be the dumbest idea, perhaps. Let's go and chop a tree. I can't believe we made it through a open world crafting survival game and we didn't actually start by punching a tree. We broke, we, we did a sequence break here, you guys. Now here's the thing, in my, um, in my test game, oh, I'm already overweighted, because of course I am, but we did level up a little bit, so we're gonna enhance stats. I'm gonna put it into uh, carrying capacity because it seems really useful. There we go. Oh, I got enough to make five. Yeah, let's make a bunch of pal spheres. Tools do have durability, so we will be making a repair center later. No, no, you can punch the tree. In fact, when I started my initial run, I started off by punching trees, but we found some sticks on the ground, so I was able to just craft an axe first and skip the entire punching tree phase. Instead, we punched some rocks. Okay. So yeah, my first Pokemon, sorry, my first pal in my test run was actually a shiny, or they call them uh, alphas in here. Um, it was very difficult to catch. Do we want to start by grabbing one of these chickens? What are they called? Chicky bees. I mean, they're here. Oh, I didn't actually acquire those. They're here, so maybe. Or why don't we just start moving off of this plateau immediately? Uh, there was That sheep did look really cute. Um, if I go to build mode, I can go disassemble. And I disassemble this and get my material back. I mean, we're going to want one of everything. All right, bonk it on the head. There you go, pal sphere go. Great little graphic for it. Boom, there you go. We've captured our first pal. Uh, and what we can do, if, if we go to our party screen over here, right? We can, I think we can carry up to five with us. Go figure. Um, and uh, then we can also uh, toss them. We, we're going to have a um, our what's it going to be called? The pal box, uh, which is where we're going to store them long term. But since we've got one, we can also go and deploy it. Chickabee, I choose you. Hello. Hang on. Come here. Sorry, I bonked you on the head. I promise it's all for the best. <laughs> yeah, you still get the drops even on a capture. Um, there you go. I think there is, yeah, there, there's a crouch move. I didn't realize it would keep me crouched after that. That's okay. Uh, oh, the expedition survivor. Well, you know what? Let's go over here and get ourselves a sheep. <sighs> How long until we start catching syndicate men? So yeah, so there are enemy humans in this game that apparently you can also capture. There's one. Bonk, 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 bonk. Whoa, no, Chicky B. I might want to, and you know, focus on the same enemy is fine. There you go, we got ourselves a land ball. Now, you do get um, bonus XP for capturing 10 of the same one. So at some point, you're going to want to go and do that. After that, you, you get much reduced XP. All right, now, we'll just uh, we'll just grab a pair, or we'll just grab, you know, one chick be one, one of these. I think uh, breeding and stuff is in the game. I don't know if you can crossbreed or how that might work. I mean, if it's like Pokemon, then, you know, mixing Pokemon, you still just get... Uh, one of the two. You don't want to get, end up with a hybrid. Oh, look at that big guy. Chicken plus lamb equals shawarma. And yeah, each pal has... So there's a bunch of unique traits you can get. So um, this chickpea over here is brittle. Minus 20% defense. Okay, that's not ideal. Um, and my lamb ball... Ooh! Veil of darkness. 10% increase to dark attack damage. Spooky lamb ball. Is a masochist. Increases defense, but lowers attack. And a motivational leader, 25% increase to player speed. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, Chickpea, you're getting replaced with Lambal. Yeah. I've become speed. Also, apparently I can activate a fluffy shield by holding F. Hmm, I don't know. I, they, I, I have seen, oops. 
I keep using E as my action key because it is that's what it is in some games. Um, and that's the uh, the dismiss activate pal button. You can fuse two to make to blend the look. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, what I'm thinking for our actual base is I was thinking over there, but maybe what we'll do is we'll build a, an early base here and then we'll just move it later. Well, I don't know if you move it so much as disassemble the base and then just rebuild it somewhere else. But since you're getting motion sickness, I'm so sorry. Um, these, okay, these pink dudes over here, they increase your carrying capacity. So I kinda, and they're cats, so we're gonna want one of them. There is fall damage, but it's fairly generous. Yeah. I should capture that. Uh. Need to play New Cycle, do I? That's a pretty place by a lake. You know, I mean, this is a very attractive location. Maybe we build our little starter area over here. Oh, we got a little green glowing thing we want to do. Do I want to do this side or the other side? I don't know, I think this side is good. Got a little bit of an open field. Yeah. All right, so let's go into build mode, build ourselves a pal box, and this will act as the root of our base. Notice that uh, land ball is helping us build. Cool, uh, so that blue area, so that there's a little blue border that is the limits of, uh, of your zone. And so when it's clipping through an object, you can sort of see it there, it can be played offline. I'm playing single player mode right now, which I'm assuming is totally offline. You can play multiplayer, but I'm playing single player mode. I uh, probably could have weakened you more. I'm just gonna capture a couple and get some traits there. Go. All right. Do do do. Actually, the easiest place to check it, I think, is in the pal box over here. Because yeah, you can mouse over and see the traits. Coward, coward, slave. Uh, coward, brave, dragon killer, destructive. All right, those are various traits. Um, and then they can do different types of work as well. Yeah, the cat helper trait gives you the ability to get extra carrying capacity, but your trait's pretty bad. Um, hey, what? I'm gonna deploy you at the base. It already goes to work. There's some rocks in my base radius. He's gonna go smash some rocks and collect it. I think they'll do the trees as well. Oh, I have tip. Spread out if you build everything tightly, pack your pals while have trouble access in the station. I noticed that in my test game. Absolutely. Uh, the game is telling me to eat something to stave off hunger, so I will go and eat some berries. Here, I'll feed one to land ball as well. Um, just level up, open your inventory, strengthen your stats, so we'll do that. I'm going to put another point into weight over here. Uh, capture five land balls. You gain uh, bonus XP. So we're just going to burn through these little tutorial tips over here, because it actually is a pretty decent idea. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, I should still have some spheres. Oh, I only have two left. One left, so I'm gonna have to craft some more. Oh, I thought I, didn't it say two a second ago? Well, mutton's back on the menu. Probably need some more wood here. You also put plus five in the weight over Christmas? Yep. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to build some beds for our pals here. The ones that are deployed to the base. Oh, let's go and grab that green thing before I uh, forget anymore. See, so there's that little blue line that's the border of my base. So I probably could have gotten a little bit more real estate by building it a little further away from the water here. There you go, a lift monk effigy. Collect them and offer them a statue of power to improve your abilities to capture pals. Is that a... Oh, no, that's Paldium. No, no, that is a ball. Cool. Very convenient. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Oh. Don't die. I think I... I don't have them 
my ball? It went to zero. Was it already? I don't think it was already dead by the time I threw the ball. I'm still confused why it hit the two and then went to zero before. Maybe I double tapped. I might have just missed. That could be. All right, that's fine. Night's coming. You can skip through the night if you have a bed. Um, so let me rebuild my primitive workbench. And yeah, we, we will want to give things some good space because that was definitely an issue. Problem with playing in the morning like this is I am full of coffee and therefore extra shaky. So there's probably going to be plenty of pals for your misses, which I wasn't experiencing last night. And yes, different pals at night as well. Thank you very much for helping me out here. And we are going to name our uh, some of our pals, our key pals, based on Twitch people. We'll use the uh, name in game, uh, um, like point reward system, to uh, to do that. You know what? Let me put away my pal so that it doesn't accidentally do a killing blow here. There you go. And we're not necessarily optimizing around who we're capturing here. We're just looking to complete our quest. Whoa, it's so dark. So dark. Yeah, the corpses vanish over time. You can also get um like some butchering stuff set up. So, but I haven't done that yet. I just saw it in the list of things. And yeah, you can see all these rocks getting dropped. From, uh, from their mining operations here. Okay, let's unlock some tech. Um, we're gonna get a wooden chest, repair bench, campfire. Um, I'm gonna get my own uh, bed and then a bed for my buddies over here too. I think we'll need to unlock the uh, cloth tech. So let's go. Oh, it's gonna say it won't let me place a bed though because it's gotta be indoors. Hang on. We need to unlock structures. There we are. Let's build ourselves a little hoose. So I'm just going to put, you know what, right by the water over here. That's where I want to be. Right here. I'll do that. Uh, no, I want the one with the windows. Oh, right. Um, I need to right click to build continuously. Look, we're Fortnite now. Um, wooden door. Click. Open. We're gonna build a wooden roof. Oh, I'm out of wood. God, it's so dark. Where's the tree? There's over here. I don't know if the cold does damage to me or anything. Maybe only if it gets extremely cold. Where's my house? Really need to get a campfire going. Plus, it'll warm us up. You know what? Maybe I'll, I'll put it down right now. I'll probably need more wood after. I'm gonna put it right by the front door. There. Health is going down? Okay. Doesn't help that we don't have any clothes on yet. We can also cook those berries we've been picking up. And uh, we can also make lamb ball kebabs. Mmm. You know what? Let me just make the one real quick. Visitors heading towards my base. Mmm, kebab. Don't think I'm actually that hungry yet. Ah, you know what? There we go. Let's eat it. Good. Okay. Um, can I? Do I need to go and punch more trees? Oh no, I can make another shoddy bit, or I can make a shoddy bit. Good. Let's just rotate it and put it there. We'll go to sleep, so it'll be morning time. We can see. Even if you're not hungry, best set example. This is what happens if you don't behave. You get kebobbed. I've tried punching trees in my yard. They're still there and my hand hurts. Right? Reality is so unrealistic. Reality is unbalanced. Yes, there are different difficulties. I'm playing on normal. And you can set a custom difficulty as well. There you go. See, Kativa's just so busy over there. Here, we can bring a, uh, our second Kativa as well. That'll go help out. Excellent. Um, all right, so we still have to capture one more land ball just to advance the uh, the tutorial thing. But um, increase your player level by capturing 30 pals. Uh, build up your base until it reaches level seven. Right, so your base itself can level up here. So we can see the requirements for to bring the base to the next level. I need a wooden chest now. So let's go ahead and build that because that will be incredibly useful to have. Oh, I need more wood. 
Death to trees! Reality, good graphics, bad gameplay and balance. Yeah, and the, the character art is often really bad. I mean, seriously. The player avatars need an, an art upgrade. Yeah, we need some straw beds too. So that our Pokemon uh, stay happy. I mean, our pals, our pals. Our legally distinct pals. Reality is balance is fine. Just keep responding until you're born rich. And you can't even see or raise your stats. I mean, you can raise some of your stats in reality. Do, 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 do. Where do we want to put the um, the beds? Should they be like right next to our house? I'm going to build a couple because we're about to upgrade and I'm going to want to deploy another another pal as well. Hopefully that's far enough away they don't get stuck. Look at them build! Look how great that is. I love that. I love coming back to the base after a day of exploration and just see like everyone busy at work, planting my crops, roasting some berries. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and level up our base here. Oh, there's that uh, person visiting. Oh, I still didn't build the wooden chest. Derp. I don't know if the uh, the pals put things in chests. I don't know if they interact with it. And just I'll put it there. They made actually. Yeah, I think they do. I'm worried that things might be a little crowded, but well, we can always move things afterwards. Uh, and what's great about this game that so many other games need to take a lesson from, you can craft things using things that are in your chest. They don't need to be on your person. Hello, wandering merchant. Oh, you got some items in stock. Um, okay. Oh, we haven't loaded any go uh, gold yet. By the time I ran into them, I had a bunch of gold. Yeah, it's schematics and more Bibles. I mean, I could sell them some stuff, but I'm not going to. All right. So now let's upgrade our base to level two so we can have two pals working at the base. You can see the max number of a base. Eventually we will unlock the ability to have more than one. Uh, next level was primitive workbench and shoddy bed, which we already have. So we'll level that again. Excellent. Build the feed box and three beds. You know what? Yeah, we'll get to that point real quick. You know what? I'll leave, um, I'll leave a little gap here. We'll have a we'll have a set of four in this area, and then we'll consider building some somewhere else. Yeah, some Final Fantasy style clothing for sure. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thanks for the help there, Kativa. Okay. And then a feed box, Ooh, which I think we probably have to unlock. Yeah, because that would be under the food category. Feed box here. Um, let's unlock cloth outfit, bow and arrow. And a shield, maybe a spear for better combat as well. We'll unlock a few things here. But we'll go and build the feed box. I'm gonna build it here. And I'm trying to and I try to space things out more than I did on my last base. Because your pals can definitely get stuck. And then you can load some things in there. So well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a recipe here. We're gonna do baked berries. I'm going to do this. I don't think I've got a Powell who can help in cooking right now. We're going to have to try to get ourselves a fire type. It's going to be great when they cook on their own. Look at them carry wood! Look at them go! So yeah, I think they go and deliver it into the, uh, the the boxes. So you might want them spread around the base. On the other hand, it might be uh, difficult to like find stuff here. You can see I'm getting XP, but so are my pals as we do various actions. They are also leveling up. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of those berries there. I'm going to open this. We're going to put those baked berries into this so that they can feed themselves. I'm going to do one more just so I have it on me, although we can pick up berries or other things as they go. Look at them, like, look at them just destroy all this stone. Look how useful they are. And some wood, which apparently they just dropped all over the place. There is also a convenient, there's a quick stack over here. Quick stack, anything that's already in the chest, if you hit that button, which is R, it'll just dump those in there as well, which is super handy. Okay, we can go and level up our base one more time here. 
The next level is build the berry plantation and deploy more pals. Let's go and explore the world. It's daytime. Oh, hold on. No, I want to um, craft a few of those things that I've unlocked. So, okay, I need some cloth. Kiva's slacking off. Let's go. I'm going to take all the wood that I've, wool that I've currently got. We'll turn it into cloth. There we go. Level six. You know, we got lots of tech points available to ourselves. Okay, that's done. So let's make ourselves an outfit. We'll get some armor. I don't know if this base outfit provides any uh, temperature resistance. A lot of them do, though. All right, we'll grab that. Auto equips for us, which is handy. There we are. Uh, yeah, level one cold resistance. Cloth made from cloth. Clothes made from cloth. Protects against the cold at night. 15 defense. And it's got its own little HP in there. Um, well, let's make the spear. I've actually never used the spear. I just kept clubbing things. But presumably this is a better melee weapon. I'd love a bow, because there's definitely some things you can't really melee. We're going to need more wood, and then we'll need a bunch for the arrows as well. Um, oh, it equipped it already. Oh, we get the club slot and the spear slot. Wooden club for close range combat. Fighting a pal with it might be rough. Stone spear. Close range combat. Length allows you to stand further back. Ah. Oh, did I unlock the shield tech, but I don't have the material for it. Some wood. You know what? Fine. And actually, I suspect this sheep over here. Yeah, this is not one. I have captured, so that'll be my fifth one just to advance the tutorial some more. All right. Challenge the boss. Well, let's go and explore. So we got some little map markers. I'm going to walk towards one of these. I think that'll be a fast travel point, and that's going to be very convenient. Tile sphere. How many tile spheres do I have? I got nine. Okay. We got enough for some. Pick up a little bit of some berries as we go. Again, we might want to go and capture more of these uh, chickpeas here because, again, up to like 10 of them gives you a big um, XP bonus. I don't know if it's just like the first 10 give you more XP or I don't know if it's the 10th one, like completing the 10th one gives you a big chunk of XP. But we might want more of that or we might want to just see different things. You got to be on the lookout. A lot of times with these crevices, I've noticed little... Um, Little chests, little lootables. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive thing. I think that's going to be a little higher level. I think a lot of these were like level 10 or so. How come you're not, uh... Yeah, level 10. Which... Should we try? It might be our first step. Oh, yeah, it likes to run around, run away really quick. I think we need the bow uh, to take you on. And then speaking of other big things, we got that... Mamarest. King of the Forest, level 38. We're definitely not taking that one on. The crevice over here. I haven't captured one of you yet. No, no! Kativa, no! Let me put you away for a sec, buddy. Bonk. First one of each gets lots of XP. Some give good XP for the first 10. Because, yeah, what'll happen? I don't remember if it shows up in the PAL deck, which honestly. Just for, again, sort of legal butt coverage, I probably would call the Palopedia or something like that. But, you know. Um, yeah, capture bonus. There we go. First 10. You can see your progress over there. And yet we got flyers. Uh, you can ride some. Of the, I haven't gotten to that point, but I know that you can ride some of these pals, including the flyers. It's like everything people wanted from a freaking Pokemon game. But like Game Freak and Nintendo are basically unwilling to ever evolve the formula. Other than, like, add 3D in a way that may or may not have been the ideal way of doing that. Can someone ride the deer? Yeah. Oh, that, that's right. You can you can ride some of the Pokemon in the later game. But the flying ones in, like, in an open worldy kind of way? You are. You're, it is true, though. I think even in uh, a Sword and Shield, which I played, there's some riding in there. Ooh, there's another Pal Ball. Great stuff. Lovely. <gasps> oh, chest! Chest, 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 chest! Gold coins, pal sphere, small pal soul. See, it's fine if they die, because their souls move on somehow, some way. <laughs> Melpaca. Ooh, you are level 10. Let's get some help out for this one. Thanks, Kativa. Oh, I think he's charging. No? Okay. Oh my god, 
but yeah, we're doing like no damage to this thing. In before first death? Could you come back, please? Hi. We really need our bow and arrow. Oh, jeez. Wasn't expecting whatever the heck that was. Come back. Yeah. And yeah, I can see the green statue over there. Are you? Dang. All right. I wonder if I went to the other side over here. I wonder if we would go up the ramp. I'm kind of worried about getting attacked in the water, though. It's probably a terrible idea. Quick, 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 quick. I could also just try to throw a spear at him while he's or a sphere at him while he's in the water. Uh. All right, leave that one be. An egg. Wee. This game is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I mostly got it as a joke. Yeah, I know. Like you see, like the original like trailer in the footage, and you're like, what is this? Some sort of like shitty Pokemon ripoff? No, it's a great Pokemon. Rip I mean, legally distinct too. I don't, I don't know where my, uh, my kitty cat went. You know, what's the end game like? Anything like that? I don't know. I did. I looted the egg, right? Yeah. But he got a scorching egg. Something hot moves within. Place an egg incubator to incubate it. Well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, that Mel Akapa Taka is still a little pissed. I mean, I don't blame it. Okay, hold on. Let's give it one toss of a pal spear. Spear. If I can... In line of sight somehow. Well, you're quite far away. I don't know what my toss range on it is. All right, Let's move inland. I activated the fast travel. Yeah, because I think otherwise it would be still orange. Well, yeah, I want to go inside this uh, old uh, ruin here, this church looking thing, because there was another uh, green statue in there. Oh, and someone's standing in front. Hello. Skilled Islander. You're a new face. Don't tell me an outsider. Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pals? You can get XP for capturing up to 10 of the same kind, you know? You know what they say. Pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Is that what they say? Here, take this. I got high hopes for you. Ooh, five fragments. Thank you. I appreciate it. Point statue. Pick up. Castaway Journal, Day 20. Um, I think it was here. These memos. The world harbors a secret. I was convinced of this when I began re-examining the globe's geographical features for my research towards the end of last year. Looking over the islands of the world, I noticed something strange. It feels like a certain area was empty, so to speak. I knew there should be something there, but it was unbelievable to me how no one could have noticed such an obvious absence in this location. With a few months of preparation, I was successfully able to guess the location of an island based on my hypothesis. Conviction I heart, I chartered a boat and set out for the island alone. So presumably, once we explore a little bit, hey, Quill, there'll be some place that like must have an island that hasn't spotted. Interesting. And yeah, there are several islands already. I wonder if you can build a boat. When you can just use a flying Pokemon. Powell. Powell. Not a Pokemon. Okay. Um. I can pop that. We can level 11 chill it over there. Far north. My pointer is still looking. Okay, that's north there. Mm -hmm. You first streamer I've seen read the lore. You gotta read the lore. What? It's like when we play Baldur's Gate three, we read you know all the books, and we're finding mostly duplicates now. <gasps> there we go. I want one of you. These little fox tail things. What are they called? Fox sparks. And you know what? I'm gonna put my kitty away here. I want to hit you one more time. Boom. Capturate. Come on. There he is. Lock it in. Good. Uh, we are being fireballed. I mean, I guess I can't blame them. I started first. Um, we're actually a little bit hurt. Let me get my buddy out here again. Spread the aggro out. Cause I wonder if you've got really good traits. Because you are proving to be quite tough. Get some raw berries here. Bring up my hunger. I don't know if that heals you. Oh, you broke out. Get back in there. They can passively heal. I really wish I'd built a shield before this. 
Turns out being on fire hurts. Okay. Oh, are you a higher level than me? Oh, also you went into the... I don't think I can send someone to my pal box from here. I mean, we can drop one. If you are, if you, if you are full, it just gets sent to your pal box. So I won't be able to use the, uh, the fox sparks quite yet, unfortunately. Oh, I suppose there's no reason not to go and do our 10 captures. Get that bonus XP. Well, yeah, the sheep shield was a, was a thing, yeah? If I go and replace you. It looks like if you hold F, is it shielding me? Hmm. I don't know. I would say the sheep are the cutest to pet. No. Oh, keep holding it until the sheep comes to you. Oh my god! Can I still fight? No. <laughs> ah! Oh no, you look so sad! No! Oh man, that's fantastic. What's blinking over there? I think that's just a piece of wood, but oh, there's an egg though. Oh, I think that's some wool actually. Which might be worth grabbing. Common egg. Yeah, that's wool. You can still fight. Right click. Oh, okay, hold on. Right click? I'm right clicking. Got the club. Right click. Left click. Right click. Holding right click. Nothing seems to be happening. The bow, at least? Meh. Maybe it's maybe it's something we'll figure out later. Have you seen the hanging trap yet? Yeah, I built it in my, uh, my other game. I, uh... I, after maybe an hour, it caught something. <laughs> Just get some more easy XP here. Well, since I can't get the shield to work, I'm just going to bring out, um... Okay. Eva again. Just because... It increased my carrying capacity. I'm assuming you're gonna get caught. So I'm just kind of wandering in a random direction. It looks like I think there's a fast travel point up close. So the sun's getting low. So let's move to this marker that's straight ahead here and use that to fast travel back to our base. Ooh, the person I just captured is... What is that? Stronghold Strategist? Hmm. Sounds pretty good. <gasps> oh, we got some Syndicate Thugs up there! And some Electric Cat Pokemon. I can't Palace Fear you, can I? Oh, well, too late now. Hey, these guys were big runners. You can Sphere them? Yeah, he died too fast. Spark Kit! Dodged! Oh no, now you're dead! My balls! There's a lot of fighting going on here. Oh, you're dead. Wax kind of low, so let's grab that one real quick. <laughs> Ow, my balls. Wait, who are you fighting? Oh, the rush port! No, don't kill it! Don't kill it! Nice. No! How dare you break out? Oh, it's dead. Dang it. Okay, where was that fast travel point? This way. I don't want to be out here when it's pure dark. I mean, yeah, you can get a torch. I don't know if that uses up a hand or if you offhand it. But it's real dark at night. <laughs> oh, by the way, how is the, uh, the game sound? Is it okay? Not too loud? Not too quiet? Come back to the small settlement later, but for now we'll just fast travel to our base. No complaints, it's fine, good. Okay. Hey, berry plantation, deploy more pals. Tons of work. Okay. Um, yeah, let's deploy some more pals. So, the Kativa over here. Uh what is it? UT Tales. So this Kativa can do handiwork, gathering, mining, and transporting. Um, you can just do planting and what's and farming. Gathering and farming, okay. Well, you know what? We we are going to want to do some farming, and actually, um, the flak here is going to be quite good because it can also do watering. So let's deploy uh, you. What can the uh, rush boar do? 
literally no labor. Oh, no, can mine. Okay. Smash its head into a, a hillside or something. Yeah, I think we'll deploy you. You have dragon killer. What is that? 10% decrease to incoming dragon damage. Okay. This one's got heated body. 10% decrease to incoming ice damage. Trying to figure out who to bring with me. Anyway, I'll bring this fox park with us. And we'll deploy... I don't know who else to deploy in here. You can help with crafting and stuff. All right, we'll do that. There'll be four of them deployed. We do need an extra bed. Let me go and finish off our little set over here. Yeah, look at the one with the gold passive. You're, you're right. We should look at those because they are quite good. Fox acts like a torch when it's running around with you. Oh, that's so cool. And yes, the fox cannot make cooking. I definitely made use of that. All right, so I didn't actually deploy a fox. Oh, we got a, a backup fox. Hold on. We got two. Why are these berries here? Um, who don't I need? We've got... Okay, we've got a lot of people for the handicraft. Actually, I might not need the lamb ball. But let's deploy this fox instead. And yeah, they will do jobs on their own, but then you can also assign them. If you do the uh, pickup here, we'll wait until daytime. And then yeah, if I get my own fox out. Okay, yeah, it's nice and bright. Okay, that's really cool. And I have to remember that my, um, my active pet also helps out around the base as well. Yeah, see, this fox here is cooking. Look at it go. Just flamethrowing on there. Baking some berries. Can you smuggle, snuggle with them? Come here, come here. Hey, boy. Okay, so. So this one is Sirius. Oh, Sirius is very good for work. Um, what was it? F, yeah. to view details. Sirius increases your work speed just flat out, which is amazing. And you can see skill slots over here. You can click to swap, learn new skills on them. Oh, yeah, Stronghold Trade, which is a triple tag here. 10% increase to player defense. Oh, my defense just goes up if I was just using this pengulet. Pengullet. I think those are the only ones. Oh, this land ball's got the motivational leader. What's that deal? 20. Oh, yes, that's right. This player speed increase, which is really good. That's why I did like this land ball. We haven't seen a single. Oh, a single shiny yet. These uh, daydreams are pretty good. If I remember correctly. We will definitely need to craft a bow, though. Don't die. Nope, I missed you. Did, it, did I miss you again? Oh, I'm out of balls! Dang it! Oh, player speed is only for work speed. Oh, it's not movement speed? Okay, someone's going to work on that. I think for more, I'm going to need some more wood. So let's go and chop down some more trees. Yeah, our cat is upset, not doing any work. I think that just means they need some rest. We can also get, um, we'll, have, we'll build them a hot tub. For comfort. There we go, Fwack produced five pal spears. Thanks, Fwack. This is a hot tub stream. It will be. An upset cat, not working. I want a game, not a sim. I'm so sad I didn't get, get the daydream. Oh, this weapon's damaged, so this axe is not gonna be very useful anymore. Um, have we unlocked the repair bench? Okay, we start with it a repair or unlock, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and, or I unlocked it at some point. I'm gonna put it near my crude workstation. Be funny if the fox has to warm up the hot tub. I mean, that would be brilliant. Pals can become upset that no food to eat. That could be. We'll have to check our little food thing. There might not have been enough in there. And actually, I don't know if um, if different types of critters need different food. I'll do the stone pick at the same time. I have a tremendous amount. And you know what? I think I should do all of these. Well, maybe not the spear, but I'm going to do all these while I'm here. I think the amount of material they need to be repaired um, does scale up depending on the damage. So, like, doing it early is not a problem. Okay, let's build this bow here. Then I'm going to queue up a job for a bunch of uh, those. Oh, you're coming over. You know what? Let's do that. Grab these berries. Okay, yeah, there was some food in there. There's currently, I, I'm assuming it's a bug. When you sort your inventory, it resets the um, the expiration timer on food. 
which I'm assuming is a bug. But we're going to take advantage of that for now. All right. Bow complete. So now we've got it, although we don't have any arrows. Oh! Okay. All right. I was, gonna, I was wondering why I could have both the club and that. I'm just going to discard the club. We're going to put the bow in that slot. Oh, keep posing. And then we're going to start some arrow production here. Okay. I'm going to build a hot tub right here by the water. Oh, I, I need to unlock it. And then I'll probably need the material. Um, well, we need a berry plantation I know to advance our base. See, we can build a saddle, the rush horse saddle to ride it. Hang on, let's unlock that. Is the hot tub later? Oh, it's way down here. Okay, we're going to need a little bit before we get to that point. Fire bow, fire arrows, parachute. Well, we'll unlock it. All right, let me do... Where do I want to build our berry plantations? Back over here. That's where I want to build it, assuming I've got the material. Nope, still need more wood. Okay, I guess we use most of it making our arrows and shit. There you go. Now we have a functional bow and arrow. We're just going to go and axe more trees. Oh, yeah, the egg incubator, because we've got a couple of eggs. Interesting to see what we get. And he has fox harness to use the flamethrower. So I think what the, what happens with that is you just like pick up the fox and you use it like a flamethrower, right? That's I think how it's going to work once we get that unlocked. Which sounds amazing. I think we find ourselves some ice Pokemon. Or grass. Sorry, pals, pals. Pals. Okay. Pick up all these loose rocks while we're at it. And again, we can... R, right? Yeah. Dump this stuff. Leather. Wood. Cloth. Okay. I'll have to do some more storage for it afterwards. Thank you for cooking all those berries. That was lovely. Oh, right. I guess I... Right. I still didn't have the uh, hot tub springs. Oh, we need pal fluids. All right. Um, what do I need to level this up? Oh, that's what I was doing to do. I was going to do the berry plantations. I'll put it over here. I'm going to build a couple. There. Yes, pal fluids. I don't know what, what that represents. And yeah, so we can plant, I think, one of our pals do the planting we can check our deployment i know that the the flak at least can do the watering afterwards put the feeder next to the berry farm will people load the feeder from the berries that might make some sense i think they so long i'm going to manually plant this one there we go and yeah we just completed the requirement to upgrade the pal box because we needed uh one of the berry plantations We'll upgrade you again. Next thing is Pal Gear Workshop and a Statue of Power. Well, we'll see. If we can go and build those now, we will. Your workbench and a Statue of Power. We need more cloth, which we might. There we go. We don't have a ton of wool, but we can get some of it. Hey, look at him spraying water. Look, look how happy. It's good little workers. Oh, there you go. Thanks for making the cloth for me. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's how you can assign someone to a work site. You can just toss them at the work thing you want them to do. Or if you just toss them away, then they go into auto mode. Put it here. Again, I'll leave some space to minimize the chance that people get stuck in things. Chicken plant or is it only gather? Yeah, we'll, we'll double check. Now, uh, oh, I do have a... Oh, right, because I got the rush or saddle. But we could look into the... Fox Park Harness. I need... Oh, I need two more flame organs for that. You know what? We should build the saddle and see what this is like. Ooh, that's a long job. Okay, we'll let the Pokemon... Or Pal work on that for a second. If I go over here... Oh, yeah, you only gather. We need planting. We do have an extra slot available. 
So, um... Oh, there you go. The goo mosses can do it. This one's a positive thinker. Sand drops slower. Earthquake resistance. Earth damage. Alright, we'll put this one in here. So presumably they're going to go and help do some planting from time to time. Ooh, I am currently hungry, so let's eat some baked berries. Nom, 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 nom. Gonna help that work over here. Book Urpal is now the new X formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, there's a timer, I, which I think is, yeah, when the food goes bad. We do need to build some extra beds. Well, bed singular right now. I wonder if all I need is to have it in my inventory for sure. Because, yeah, there's, there's plenty of food in the feed box right now. And once again, we need more wood. Because we always need more wood. And yeah, I already, yeah, Death, I, I, I've done that a few times, actually. When you sort, it resets the timer on your food for, for I'm assuming, is a glitch. It's because it also restacks things, and I think it's only got one timer for the pile. Honestly, I think you could probably just not have the food expire, maybe. And name Fox Parks is Mozilla. Oh, so yeah, we'll probably, um, I mean, if we get one with good traits or if we get an alpha, um, then we will be naming them and keeping them around sort of more long term there. All right. Um, is it time to explore some more? Although if I'm going to, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a quick stack. Um, although if I'm going to, I should probably just rest and end the day and reset it. Look at them go over there! Just spraying seeds! Blah, 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 blah. Where did you find the boar pal? I'm not sure. Oh, but that, that does, yeah. Um, I don't think we've got the boar pal with us, right? No. Let's do that. Um, you've got the carrying capacity. Okay, I think I'll leave you... Okay, we'll do that. Let's deploy Rush Boar. Yeah, baby! Reckless charge. Okay. Oh, and then, okay, so there's a charge up period. Oh, you just click once to do it. And then there's a cooldown afterwards. I'm not entirely sure if this is improving my movement speed. On the other hand, it has its own stamina bar? Oh yeah, you can use it. I mean, I know you can assign it for mining. Can I just smash into the, whoops. Okay, this is gonna lead me into so many problems. I don't think I built the parachute, no. Here's some sounds. Sometimes there's little sound effects. Oh yeah, all these uh, pingulets are mad. Um, hang on, what is that? Um, sometimes there's sounds like the shinies, the alphas. <laughs> Have a little tone. Oh, we don't have enough pals here. But yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to uh, sleep to reset the day anyway. I'm like stuck on a little bit of uh, geometry there. I think this is the wrong weapon. I'm like, why am I doing so little damage? Axe isn't actually a very good combat weapon for whatever reason. Nope. How dare you dodge me? The um. Oh. Ha. Damn it. No. Don't die. One of the screens talked about, um, or maybe it was a tip I read, you could like sneak up behind one of the uh, pals as well and maybe capture him that way. I guess like there's a sneak attack you can do to potentially just capture them without going to combat. I'm moving my head as if I can use that to look around more. Okay, let's go back to our base. <sighs> Sleep. <laughs> Whee! Oh, there's some ore. It's not very convenient. You can assign them to mining in your base. I don't know how convenient it is to like have them mine here. Can I? Oh my god, I can fire from Borback. Be right back. Gonna conquer the uh, the steps. Can you expand the range of your base? That I don't know. Leaning increase your chance to dodge like shooters. Yeah, and uh, sticking out your tongue makes you turn faster in racing games. Uh, I guess my base is a little higher up, isn't it? Okay, I can see the blue outline there. Yes, it's boar back riding. Good boy. Okay, so we need um, we need more pal spheres. Okay, good. 
Uh, what I'm gonna do is, well, hopefully someone works on it. Hey, let him go! See? Just mining away. I'm gonna whack some more trees here. Paint the boar red to make it go faster. Uh, yep, wrong tool. Thank you. It's got axe in the name. Surely it should work, right? And yes, tree farm is a tech that I have, uh, I built in my other one. It doesn't seem to produce wood very quickly. I mean, not unless I guess we're doing it on a big, massive industrial scale. Oh yeah, and as far as I can tell, everything respawns. Like, trees will keep coming back. We don't have to worry about having to, like, constantly push out further and further. No, oh, the cat is upset and went to bed. Sounds like a cat. Oh, I'm, like, I'm nearly full on weight here. Yeah, trees don't fall on top of you in this game. Uh, yeah, so I guess we didn't build the parachute, right? Let me check. Yeah, we didn't build it. We didn't have it equipped. So let's go. I've never used the glider. So let's build one. Seems like the sort of thing we should have equipped. Yeah, when you're away, they gather the resources. I think some of the trees are inside the borders here, but I don't think we've got any pals that cut down trees. Oh, the shield too. Yes, thank you. So yeah, they're carrying berries. So I can see now that maybe putting the food pit next to the um, the plantations is a good idea. We'll minimize the carry time. Oh, we get a pal that was a logging foreman. Over two million sold. Copies include Game Pass installation. I think they're actual sold, but I'm not sure. I know the like concurrent players on Steam has been crazy. I think they hit 800,000 concurrent players on Steam. So that makes sense with those numbers. Because not everyone who bought the game is in the game simultaneously. And yes, Steam players want to include Game Pass people. Exactly. So 800,000 concurrent people on Steam by itself. I think it's also maybe on Epic. Now the Game Pass version is, um, I think it's still a preview build from, I think it's a couple patch levels away. So if you're, I think if you're playing on Game Pass, um, you're not playing the latest version right now. And yeah, the servers, like no one expected this many sales. So like the servers are all having issues to like, like the download servers from the game. I like being overwhelmed. It's like, it's a great problem to have. Let's make a ton of arrows here. Actually, I'd prefer it if one of one of my pals was doing it for me. Yes, yeah, so we're literally just talking about Steam charts. Wasn't I just talking about Steam concurrent players? Maybe I misspoke. There's thoughts on the game? So here's the thing. I, I'm actually not personally often a fan of like survival crafting open worldy games. I get kind of tired of them. Some of the grand, grinding side of things like that. And I mean, that might happen here too, right? So like, there's, there's tons of really good ones that I have played and like, this is a good game, but I kind of rapidly lose interest on the grind and things like that. Like I played Valheim, I've played Ark, uh, even something like Empyrean Galactic Survival, for example, right? Um, so I don't know if I'm a good judge for these things or not, but it's quite compelling to combo that crafting open world survival mechanic with a pet catching game. You know, it's the visuals are very appealing. You're hungry, but we've got food. You're going to be fine, buddy. Where's my where's my worker? OK, hold on. I was looking at over here. Uh, oh, Statue of Power. I can build that. We can get an upgrade. And I do have it unlocked. There you are. Where do we want to put this? Let's put it right by this bridge. Yeah, that stack pickup noise was intense. I agree. Let's have it facing outwards here. Right here. Oh yeah, we gotta check the incubator. I don't I don't know if that's a tech I can get right now, but we should take a look. You know, it's what always happens. I build a temporary base, I'm like, I don't know, maybe this is gonna be here forever. We got the waterfall, it's really cool. I'm still thinking it would be a good idea to build it somewhere that doesn't have a fast travel point nearby, just to open up more um more movement options. Although at some point we will unlock the ability to have more than one base too, so maybe it's fine. So we can enhance player stats. These are what these statues are for. This is gonna increase our capture power, which seems very valuable. We can also, I can get the command again, enhance owls uh, to enhance their stats, but I definitely don't wanna do that right now because I don't know who we're committing to, right? Um, yeah, I wonder if it's worth 
I think it's, maybe it's worth increasing our capture power immediately. Okay. I think the first, oh, we had three. I think the first one needed one, next one's gonna need four. So it's going up a little bit. But I think that's probably worthwhile. As far as I know, those FGs are only used to improve capture power. Well, the, there was an option. Whoa! Level 16. I don't think we're gonna capture this Denisom. But you scared the crap out of me. Right, because there's the option, or, oh, wait, do, is it use different resources? Oh, that's what Powell Souls, okay. So these um, these green link monks or whatever they're called, you're saying are only for capture power, so we may as well just use them. Okay, cool. Yeah, jump scare. I didn't realize it was gonna be a horror survival game. What's going on here? Let me do another scoop up. Prepare yourself for noise. You just vacuum everything up. Um, I guess I can make a separate feed pile, but... I think I should move it. Now, again, I don't think you can move. I think you go into build mode, and you can disassemble. So I can disassemble this. So it looks like I'm going to get two wood out of 20 back, maybe? Because if I wanted to just build a new one... It's 20 wood. Or just tell me I have tw two of 20. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, we always need... Well, part of it is because I just queued up this huge arrow job, right? That's using... Yeah, if anyone knows if you can move something once you build it, please let me know because that would be huge. That would be massive. Oh, right. Hold on. I can level up my, uh, my base. Crusher, stone pit, logging site. Yeah. So the logging site is quite nice because it will make it assuming we've got the correct pals you know as workers here they will be able to get a continuous source of wood from that too i think the pals will also just like chop down trees i'm not sure maybe they only mine things but i'm assuming they'd also chop down trees if we've got some within our radius and we do those trees over there which do come back show up so i guess one of the things to check is um lumbering we need a powell Keep you chunked up. That has, uh, where's that icon? There. Okay, none of our current ones have that. So that would be a great thing to unlock so that they keep generating wood for me. And maybe they'll, maybe they'll decide to add the moving in a patch. I mean, they might be like, you know what, for game balance reasons, you want to move. That seems, I, I suspect that there's not a really good game balance reason not to allow people to move their stuff. So, okay, how are we feeling? We've only got seven of these palace spheres. We're gonna want more before we head out. Let me cancel that job. Uh, I did build a shield, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, let's do that, which I know is gonna use some of the wood. At least they build quick. And we'll go to sleep. And what I'll probably do is fast travel to that small village, fast travel waypoint, which is what we got on our previous little outing. And we'll see if we can catch something new. And we got this little tutorial thing that says challenge the boss at Rain Syndicate Tower. Uh, make sure your pals and equipment are top of I don't know how strong we need to be for that. Uh. And by that I mean, I don't know how strong I need to be for that, which is probably going to have to be stronger than the average player to be able to pull things off. All right, daytime, get some food. Cooking's a go, nothing in the queue over here. Um, let's dump anything that might be heavy in the box. Uh, can you sort by weight? Oh, there's no pull down for it in general. Well, let's put the eggs away. I don't know how heavy they are, but we got some arrows. We got this. We got that. Okay. I think I can fast travel from the pal box. Yeah. And I'm going to do through this small settlement. We do have a shield. Yeah. Why, why only have one shield? We can have two. Wait, I can have two? Or are you talking about the sheep? Yeah, I just got the one. I didn't, uh, we could have unlocked a headpiece, actually. Oh, place food in a slot and both the player and active pals will automatically eat. What? That's so handy. And I know I have points to spend. I'm just going to hold on to them for now. I suspect I'm mostly just going to keep putting points into the carrying capacity, but we'll see. That's going to be a great tech to unlock. Holy cow. Also, I'm my character is actually hungry, so feed myself and rush or because, yeah, I think the pals you have with you here don't eat in camp. Check out this village. 
Reliable PIDF officer. <laughs> hey, pal tamer. There's hardly anyone around here now, but before the rain syndicate came, many more people lived here. Because of them, my income has really taken a hit, you know? If you're in trouble, let me know. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. Anything? I can use some extra labor in my base. Oh! Oh! Okay, the glider. I forgot we equipped that. I didn't use it previously. Okay, I'm not able to. There we go. Oh, maybe. There we go. Okay, there's nothing in there anyway. I just wondered if, like, there might be a chest in one of these buildings. I wonder if after I take care of the syndicate. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if there's a way to cancel the glide? Because hitting spacebar again doesn't seem to do it. Egg! Can these boats do anything? No. Okay. Hello, person. Ever explored a cave? I heard the caves are home to loads of unique pals. What's more, there are even treasure troves created by pals with a knack for collecting stuff. Give me a shout if you spot any caves. Alright. Yeah. Um, that's not what I meant to do, but it's pretty funny. Oh, merchant! Um... Milk. Give me milk from a mozzarina. I wonder, um, no, god damn it. I keep trying to use E. What game do I play that uses E as an active thing? Uh, we might have picked up something valuable. No, I don't think we did. Uh, last time I got a horn. I could sell this ammo. Because I, I don't know if we're going to use it for a while, but no. Nah, fine. Okay. The milk sounds questionable. Is it as questionable as the milk for, that Luke drinks in whichever one of the newer Star Wars movies he drinks the weird milk? All right, I don't think there's anything of note in this village currently. Oh, you're the chief. Hello. You've been attacked by an enemy and lost a pal. If you have, try asking the pal merchant about it. Now can find lost pals. If your pal is on the market, you might be able to buy it back. The rain poaching group is selling pals they poached and stolen to merchants. Really, what horrible people they are. I just wish someone could take down their boss. I'm working on it. Enthusiastic amateur researcher. Ever bumped into an extraordinarily strong and big pal? Just my speculation it seems to be some sort of leader controls pals. Around. Yes, I know it's an alpha, but I, we haven't run into one. I ran into two like almost instantly in my other save. Like literally, the I think the second pal I met like two seconds after starting to walk was an alpha. It was an alpha, one of the, the pink cat things. No streamer luck today. Nope. All right. So, yeah, let's... Okay, there's... Ooh, to level 23 Kimpak. Over here... The Mammoth... Over here, level 11 Chillet. Let's attempt to go east. Well, and a little north. Um, I could just climb. Climb every mountain. Okay, we're going to try something here. Ugh. <sighs> What happens if I jump glider? <laughs> we just use endurance. Okay, we're fine. Hey, hey, no fall damage. Go us. Something shiny there? Where? I mean, this rock pile is shining. It's just ore, though. Which we can't really process yet. And I don't want to overload my uh, weight capacity. We'll see. <sighs> Upgrading stamina is probably an excellent idea. You're right. Stamina and the carrying capacity. Wait, there was a green statue back there? Dang it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go... ...and do that. I have heard that upgrading your attack and defense may not be that much of a big deal, um, because the equipment upgrades are pretty substantial. Uh, at least, like, early on. I love the glider. the heck in heck? Oh, that's the King Paka! Supreme Fluff Commander! First of all, let me make sure you're not on aggressive mode. Okay, good. Wow! Oh, I'm coming for you later. Listen, I've never played Monster Hunter World. Is this the sort of vibe of Monster Hunter World in some, some fashion? You know, going around, bopping stuff. For Ooh, there's fuck smoke up there. For, like, loots and... A little bit. I, I I think I would enjoy playing that, maybe, if the grind's not too much. That pride rock. Oh, over uh over there, eh? 
Oh, we should really go to that peak. But I want to go this way right now. And we got a while to go to chill it. But there's... Oh, that's the rain, the Syndicate Tower entrance, which we're going to have to get to at some point as well. Oh, I think that's a chest in there. Okay. Oh, you can change directions very well with this, which is nice. Squint mode engaged. You gotta remember I've got a bow now, so we'll open up a few different possibilities. Let's see about getting one of those flyers. Oh, it's another lore card. Castaway's Journal, day one something? Uh, that's the, this one over here. One and two. Soon after stepping foot on the island, I discovered a living creature nearby. Not only that, but every living creature I found here is like nothing I've ever seen. On the other hand, normal creatures you might find on other islands seems to be almost completely absent. Seems this island has quite a unique ecosystem. I now know that its absence on any map is not the only special feature of this place. I decided to use the device I found to record various species I encountered. They must just be talking about this island. I wonder if this is the same thing. Like, this isn't... A Hang on. Saw the syndicates over here. I'm gonna try to capture one. I wonder if we're, we're reading lore about the place where we are rather than lore about a place we can go. Okay, the capture rate is hard for those. No, I'm not gonna spend too many resources on that. Okay, try you. Level one, you might be a little easier. I mean, I can keep trying, obviously. Whoa! Oh, you're not my friend! Okay, you can throw those fairly far. Chest over there, too. All right, another rush ore. Oh, you're new! Are you not aggroing? I don't know where my rush ore went, so I just brought him home. Are you stuck? Well, that would be great. Well, I should have just kept shooting you. Miss. Run, 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 run. Gotcha. Maybe? 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 Still gotta go back for that chest. Nice! Intelligent as a five to seven year old human child. Makes a wonderful partner, but there have been more than a few cases where they've killed their master after learning to use weapons. I thought the Pokemon lore was dark. Holy cow. Some of the like the dark type and ghost type Pokemon are crazy. Whee! Sploosh. Goodbye, Pumba. Little sparkle over here. Oh, an arrow. Stack of arrows. All right, where? Somewhere over here, there was a chest. There's also a cave there. <laughs> Throwing away bacon, you monster. Oh yeah, I see the I see the uh, the chest again. Fragment. Look at that blue thing over there. one the one of you or was it my boar it might have been my boar I thought they were charging me I didn't realize they were just running away Ooh, extra coin 500 gold coins and some bread <laughs> team rocket blasting off again level 13 boss yeah well we'll come back to you I mean, you know, with enough skill, you could probably do it, but... Although some of these attacks feel very hit-scanny. Relaxasaur? Oh, you're too big. I'm sorry. I really want you as a pet, though. You look adorable, and I love your name. Okay, I'm supposed to be going east. No, oh, I want to hug it, too. I like the sound of crickets. <sighs> Oh, that tower over there. Oh, there's a fast travel point on top of it. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the syndicate. Okay, that's the direction I'm going in. All right. Oh, put you away. What happens next may shock you. Up. Is that my first spark it? Wow. That's 
quite the shotgun blast, buddy. Yeah, all the other ones died. They have a few in my other game, so I was getting a little kind of puzzled. What's this blue thing? I think it's an egg over there. Large, damp egg. I don't know how to put away the boat, like, not fire the arrow. I could probably change weapons. There we go. Hey! Did he still hit me? No, I'm at full health. Okay. Cheeky bastard. I'm hitting both there, which is interesting to know about. All right, let's try you. Like, one HP. Hard to get any lower. All right, die. You can throw more than one orb at a person, but... I'm just setting myself a limit here. Desolate Church, Syndicate Tower, the Chillet. All right, well, I still want to go east. Did that open up the fast travel point? No, of course, I still need to click it. The movement, the mobility in this game is great. Oh, there was a chest behind me in the clearing? Yeah, I need, I need more stamina. I think I've got, I got a couple more stat points. Do it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Run out of stamina, fall into the water. I have died while trying to swim a very long distance. So I know you can, you can indeed drown. On normal difficulty, when you die, uh, you do drop all your loot. So when you respawn, you have to go and pick it up. I think on the higher difficulties, you even lose your, your pals. Which is kind of brutal. I've never tried RuneScape. My old school MMO was Ultima Online. Back in the day. I'm assuming a lot of Syndicate around here. I have to get to the other side for this chill it. Oh, there's a fast travel point. <laughs> back here, buddy. What is that? Is that a fox spark? I don't think it is. I think that's something else. No, maybe it was. All right, maybe it's a fox spark. I'm going to go check anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, it's because there's two! That's why I couldn't make it out. All right. We don't have one of these yet. Level nine. I mean, it might be a challenge. Are you attacking? Man, these things are tough. I don't know what that is, but I want to try to dodge it. Okay. Not as low as it could be. Yes. I bet you you move fast. The one who possesses the most impressive antlers becomes the leader of the herd. If their antlers are broken, they become depressed and leave the herd never to be seen again. Another beautiful waterfall. I mean, they, they crafted a very nice looking world. Ooh, egg. I think that's another common egg. Sparkly ore. I don't really see a chest. Or glowing green blob. Now, what I wonder about is these eggs and, more importantly, the, the green statue things. The ones that let you level up your capture rate. I wonder if the green capture... Uh, is, places the green statue places are like fixed and don't respawn so you really do have to find them all and keep track of which ones you've got the after ride is on my uh rush bore right now i i suspect i need a different harness for the uh, deer and the deer went into my um my my pal box at the base as well so i don't have it with me right now so whatever this chill it is we're heading towards it the sun's starting to get a little low purple oh it's a chest is purple more rare than gold or your wood gold arrows? Okay. No, oh, there's no mini map. There's a compass at the top. Doesn't seem to put the chill it on there though. <sighs> Keep in mind if you get it on Game Pass. Uh, so yeah, it's a fairly cheap game actually. Um, Cause it's like 25 US or something like that, 30. Um, if you do get it on Game Pass, keep in mind that, um, apparently that version is not the latest version currently. Dancer on the Plains. Okay, before we jump in here. Um, I think I'm going to change my active pet as well. Chill it, it might be frozen type, so I'm thinking we're going to use fire. Oh! 
Oh my god, yeah, so it has like over a thousand HP. Yeah, highly effective. Oh! Jeebus! Okay, thank you for shield. Don't, don't look at me. Okay, it's halfway. Woo! Okay, we took physical damage there. I don't know if the shield recharges after not taking damage or if it's after being out of combat or what. Yoy. I'm gonna wanna throw a ball soon just to give me a pause. God damn, okay. He's got massive eight we own No! No! I'm not worried about dying, we can come back here, but I'm worried about having to restart that fight. Shoot. Control to dodge. Oh, dodge with control. Eh, good rule. I'm honestly not sure that would get us out of the blast radius, but it's good to know anyway. So that blue line out there, that's my death. So we can find our stuff. Uh, yeah, the game does have controller support. Gives you iframes? Well, that's right, and there's a stealth thing too. Although, you know I hate stealth. Like, you can crouch... And apparently, if you, like, sneak up behind one of the pals and throw a pal sphere, um, that might be a good way to capture them. Okay, now now we're doing a uh, Zelda speed run here. Do you think Dodge has iframes? That changes everything. Hello, chest. Corpse run time, yep. A mega sphere! Well, that's going to be handy, I'd say. Yeah, I'm gonna come here just to uh, fast forward to the daytime. Easier to see chests in those green statues than due to their glow. That's actually an excellent point. Okay. Death over that way. There it is. Oh yeah, I don't have the glider anymore. <laughs> And there is fall damage, but again, it's pretty generous. But iframes mean this contact's only known from really old HTML. I know, right? Uh, they mean invulnerability frames. It's a certain number, a certain amount of time when you can't be hurt. I mean, classically in old games, it'd be like, you know, when you take damage, I think there's a green glow over there. You take damage and you're blinking and during that time you're invulnerable for, you know, 15 frames or whatever. an egg um we think we can make this jump look at that tree too again i don't have my uh you know what if we die it's not a big deal right yep yep oh no so close <laughs> oh i thought i thought we might have been able to get close enough to latch on <laughs> it's a good thing there was water down there yeah, we have a hang glider, but we don't have a quip because, you know, we died and all our equipment is up over there. Man, I like that for that exact distance. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure we got the stamina to climb this without falling back down. Uh, you know, I have to get to shore here because if I run out of stamina in the water, we are dead. Oh, this is where we fought that critter that went into the water. And... I don't know what happens if you die a second time, if your original loot pile goes away or not. No clue. It's never happened to me. Maybe you shouldn't jump in, because the jump itself takes a little bit of stamina. The stamina doesn't start going down right away when you're in the water. It's just after a certain amount of time in the water does stamina start to drop. And, or you can make it drop faster if you swim faster as well. Oh, that's a good point. We did unlock a fast travel point near to here. I couldn't respawn here, but I could have fast traveled from my base. Ugh. I don't think you can, I think you can only fast travel from one fast travel point to another. So I don't think I can just jump to it immediately. We're nearly there anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the faster swim is less efficient or not. Cause like, yeah, your stamina goes down faster, uh, but you also cross the water faster. Uh, I'm assuming it's harder on the stamina, but we'll see. All right. I kind of want to try this again with the roll. I mean, we'd gotten them pretty low. And now we also have the Mega Ball. I think we put two. There we go. So I got the Mega Sphere selected. 
let's try this. The green one on your left. Oh, good. He's attacking. Oh, that was cool looking. I say he's attacking. Oh, I'm hitting the jump. I'm not just doing a roll. Nope. Did I dodge? Oh, I took shield damage. I wonder if I just stop attacking if you're gonna. No. Focus on my companion. Or maybe it's a range thing. Okay, I'm gonna try the Mega Ball now. I'm a little bit worried about dying again. Get in there. No, dang it! No, he's turning to me again. Why? No, there you go. Well, the Fox Spark's getting awfully low. Although, so are you. Don't! First one skill! I, uh, I hit E to withdraw my, uh, my pal so that he wouldn't kill him. Wait, you died? So you did die. Oh... I guess you did kill him. Well, we still get credit for a boss kill, but I wonder if you'll respawn. I want a button to hide the UI. Or, you know, a photo mode. Did you respawn? Okay, so we can try to capture you again. Uh, I don't think I, I don't want to really want to risk another really tough one right now. Although you're a grass type, we'd kick your butt with Fox Park. All right, where to now? Oh, it's checkmarked. Cool. Okay. Oh, there's a Fort Ruin. If we go north, probably has another fast travel point. So let's do that. There is a butcher tool. Uh, oh, I did pick up. I guess I do have some low grade medicine, but they don't heal HP. They, I think, deal with con um, conditions. Another chest here. I'm happy the bosses do respawn. That's good news. Also, is it just me or is like, was my spear like weirdly long in my back? Maybe it was always like that. I'm not used to seeing it because I run around with the spear in my hand most of the time. Ooh. Just before we jump down. Ah. Ha ha! Nope. Pal Sphere and another soul. Oh my god, the stamina! Hey, we captured one of you. We gotta see what that uh, what that does for us. It's very pretty. We got some more lore. Day three. I discovered what appears to be an ancient ruin while exploring the island. Did humans once live here? Finding some kind of mural on the walls. Really? I deciphered the symbols and found that it was none other than instructions on how to make that strange sphere from before. Using Paldium, the name I have given to the blue ore found throughout the island as a catalyst, it's possible to transform mere wood and stone into one of these spheres. I must record this method of production on my device. We found that device, right? When we spawned in, we found the device. What if it's us and we just have amnesia? There happened to be a weakened pal near me, unable to move, rolling a sphere towards it. I was able to capture another pal. I, moved. Oh. I don't think I threw a ball last time because it was still on the Mega Sphere option. It doesn't auto switch like to a downgraded sphere when you run out. Which indeed, like, I mean, maybe you could do an option for it in the menu, but I'm not saying that's incorrect because I could see that as an undesirable behavior for some people. All right, we're on a beach. We're going to see some different types of pals here and an egg. A teethant! <laughs> Celery? Oh, you're dead. Couldn't tell. I thought you were just stunned. Oh, am I on... No, I'm not there. I thought I might have been over here. The zone with no fast travel points, where I think maybe it's a good idea to build the base. I don't know. They'd probably kill him again, which is fine. I mean, I'm going to capture some, but... We also get drops. Hello, Capriti. You're going to take lots of fire damage, I suspect, from my buddy here. You're tough, though, because you're level 9. Yeah, I'm doing no damage compared to what Fox Spark is doing. Oh, my armor's damaged. Oh, that's not going to help our cause. Ooh, this one's serious. I haven't been uh, noting the, uh, the traits as we go here, because it's usually going pretty quick. My rune over there. Actually, I'm going to go and dismiss my pet here, because he tends to murderize these super fast. 
Oh, I actually switched pets. That's okay. When can you get better weapons? Oh. Uh, I've crafted a few better weapon upgrades already, like the spear, but uh, we've got we've got a tech tree here. Well, not a tech tree, but a tech thing that we can unlock things. Oh, yeah, so I got ancient technology. Oh, that's what I can use it to get the freaking egg incubator or the small feed bag, which sounds useful, but I kind of feel like I want to get the egg incubator first. Right? I think there's a sphere over there, but I want to go and check these ruins. That's our first teeth, fourth teeth, rather. So where are we headed? Ooh, level 23 Catrus. Well, we're not going to be able to take them on. But there's a fast travel point in this direction, so I think we'll probably get that, and then we'll go ahead and get back to base. Build our egg incubator. Let's kill killing, kill killing the local fauna. Eh. Um, did you just bo hey, bulldoze Quill, that pay guy? Attention. There's a new subscriber. Keep booping some things here. Oh, oh very boop. Yeah, the first 10 of any kind will give us extra XP. And, you know, if Fox Park just kills a few, that's okay. Marsh Island. Ah, more sheeps. Okay, I've got, I want to keep some sphere. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Ooh, level 11. Um, I do want to keep some extra sphere in case we run into something new, so... Maybe I'll just let Fox Sparks go and murderize everything. Still worth XP and drops. There's our fast travel point. Where's the, uh... Is that the boss? That blue glowing area? Oh no, that's probably a dungeon. Stand on it, you can go underground. That's what it is. Actually, I'm just gonna unleash Fox Sparks completely here. Yeah, I don't know what the dungeons are like. I don't know if there's an actual... I haven't done it yet. I don't know if it's just an arena, or I don't know if it's like an actual dungeon crawl to get somewhere. No clue. Okay, so we got our fast travel point here. Alright, so let's go back to base. Let's see about building an incubator. So, we'll unlock it. Again, the feedback sounds useful, but let's unlock the egg. Come on. Yeah, let's unlock a headpiece. And the three-shot bow, which uses regular arrows and seems very convenient. Um, how's the base coming along? Let's have them cook, like, a million berries here. Yeah. Get an extra fox bark out there to help out with things. Um, before I forget, let's... That's not the repair table. This is the repair table. Let's repair the stone axe and our armor, which is 100% broken. Oh, we need more cloth. Yeah, we got tons of tech point. I mean, the the, the barrier is, right now is really just getting the material for it. Oh, those flying Pokemon. You think we got a saddle for it? Okay, we're going to check that out. Oh, we're being raided. I quickly repair this. Dang, Syndicate. Oh, some flying ones only act as gliders. What is this? Herd of man eating wild piles. Pals. I wonder if they can be captured still. Dire howl. Nope. Damn it. Died a little too fast. Oh, there's a few different ones. You're not very weak. There you go. Lee's punk? They dropped copper keys. <laughs> Rolled up to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, but pals didn't have around. No, no, they are effective at the fence here. Where there's a copper key, there must be a copper door. I think in my other save, I picked up a gold key at some point. I thought, oh, maybe they're for chests, but no, you seem to be able to open the chest just as is. So we'll see. That's a rim world. Yeah, wait until we get our um, freaking resource management going on. Oh, does the headpiece not actually show up on my character? It's fine. It probably would, like, bug me. Yeah, a little more defense. That seems like a good thing. Okay, so we unlock the egg incubator. I need more cloth and more paldium fragments. Paldium fragments are easy to come by. And we've got some sheep over here. Let's get ourselves some wool and make some more cloth. We did show up, did it? Oh, it's right here over my ear. Oh, it's actually really cute. Sorry, Lambal. But apparently we don't have the technology to just shear you. Okay, it looks like Fox Park, even when the set on aggro mode, isn't so dumb as to just engage the boss. That's good. I know you don't have wool, but you're here. Yeah, I don't have a... Well, we can probably...
probably unlock the ranch and throw them in there. Because there's a ranch and there's a... Um, their chicken coop for the chicken bees. They keep producing things. I think so. Oh, was that the place where one of the lore cards was? Right in front of me. I think so. Yeah. That's probably an example of something that doesn't regenerate. Ranches for both the sheep and the chickens. Oh, okay. Anything else over this way? I don't know how much we explored in this direction. I'm trying to jump so I can see just over the ridges a little bit more. We are going to start needing some ore soon. Oh, damn it. Still stat points. I don't know what I might hold on to now. Ranch does go with chicken quite well. Oh, you know what I want? We actually have a Popeyes in town. I want some Popeyes chicken tenders. Some ranch dipping sauce. I wonder if they're on uh, the delivery service. I wonder if I can order one of those after the stream. Quack, quack. Wow. Sounds like the Firefox can do the base. Yeah, we do. We have one Firefox assigned to our base. That's when we set up like a cook 100 berries job. Apparently, um, there's a pal that's like very monkey like that is quite good because they can do a lot of different tasks. Or super heavy. Oh, yeah, it is adding up. That's good. We're right near our base. We're just going to fill up our capacity and walk back over there. Every time I see Fwack, like, I think I'm seeing something else. All right. We're basically at capacity. <laughs> I love how they just go into, like, just ragdolly physics after they die. Hey, big boy. One day. One day we'll take you on. I'm hungry. It will be very handy when we get that feed bag. We'll do this automatically. Right. I think we still need some pallium. Well, here's the thing, right? Um, graft, uh, who was that? Uh, Springbok. Like, a lot of people are like, what? How are they, you know, not going to run into copyright issues or get sued by Nintendo? And of course, that sort of thing might still happen. But first of all, it's important to note that... Oh, is this this thing that's damaged? That's annoying. Um, that game mechanics can't be copyrighted or trademarked or anything like that. That's the reason there's, like, a million clones of, like, the Monopoly board game, for example. Uh... What can be co like copyrighted is story or artwork. And so the question becomes at any point, do any of the pals in here, are they too similar to Pokemon? Because, you know, low-fi, you know, cute Kaiwi style fictional animals is not a concept that anyone know, owns. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, oh, shoot, my chicken. Where Where's the incapacitated chicken? Oh, I can just do this to put you back. All right, that's great. Repair you, repair the spear while we're at it, because it's nearly there. Um, okay, let's unlock a bunch of the Lobi stuff that we haven't done. Alarm bell. Bell, it sets the st alert status for pal in base. Change pal behavior for either attacking, invading enemies, or focus entirely on work on blue. Okay, set up the hanging traps to maybe capture things. There's our ranch. This is just furniture that we can use to decorate, I think. So I'm going to hold off on those. Okay, celebrate gloves. Loves for gently holding on to celery fins. If celery is on your team, it can be used as a glider. Okay, yep. Yeah. And yeah, we might want to get the logging site. Well, mostly uh, we're still missing a pal with the right stats for these, so maybe we'll hold off. The crusher can crush stone into paldium. And I think we need to build... Actually, I think we need to build these three to get our next level, so we may as well consider that. Hot spring. I think both these outfits also have more armor. Doesn't tell us here, but I think they have, both have more armor than our current wear. So, I'll do uh, I'll do the tundra outfit so we less likely to get cold at night. The furnace so we can start processing ore. We'll want to process some of it into nails. Oh, and then we can get ourselves some metal tools. Oh, can, you think our deer's got the wood chopping? Oh, and the high quality workbench faster than printed workbench. I'm sorry, Life Monk's submachine gun. Submachine gun made especially for Life Monk. Activates his partner skill, and Life Monk will ride on your head and fire at enemies? <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, now I have a machine gun. Yeah, crusher, stone pit, logging site. So we may as well at least build one of those. Let's go to sleep real quick. Your pal is level two wood cutting. Nice. Okay. 
I did want to try maybe riding it, but I think it would be a huge win for us right now to get that gear pal um, to work the base. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. It's all it does. But level two lumbering. Look how great he looks. Hydromaniac. Generating electricity. Oh, my God. You can probably put them into generators. Properties. New planting. They're so cute and fluffy. Sometimes drop berries from its back when assigned to a ranch. Where's the life monk? I did get one, right? Is that not why I could research the tech? Did we not actually capture it? Oh, there it is. Right. I keep forgetting what it looks like. Forget that it's a squirrel, like a chipmunk. I was thinking it's something that looks like a monkey, but no, no, no. Yeah, and they can do a lot of things. Planting, handiwork, lumbering, medicine production, and gathering. Slave. Work speed goes up. Attack goes down. Okay, so the life monk we actually don't want to bring with us. We're going to try to find one that's maybe more combat oriented, but it seems like a great idea to deploy this one to base because they can do all the things. Money for Essentia. Money for Essentia. This is Balamar's bad Pokemon theme joke of the day. Uh oh. Which Pokemon does Dracula like most? What? Coffin. That's terrible. Look at him punch trees. Yeah. All right, I'll just put it down here. Coffin. And a stone pit. Oh, we need more wood for that. Although, we've got a giant pile of wood. Oh, it's so handy to have one of these. I don't have one in, the, in my other save. We're actually about as far into this one as I was on the other one. Stone pit. And the crusher, we need wood and more paldium. It's a great joke, not a bad joke. Sometimes the worse a joke is, the better it is, you know? One of the weird, weird realities that we exist in. Oh my God, those things are still rolling around. I guess we never got far enough away for them to despawn. Oh yeah, the incubator. Right, we'll get to it. Oh yeah, we'll put a box next to the stone pit. Good call. Well, and yeah, everything here, the wood and the stone, hopefully will go in the same area. Let's do that immediately. And yeah, we need another bed. I'm gonna build that now before I leave and forget. I have some miserable people. Oh, we need more wood. Well, there probably is more wood waiting there, but we're gonna need a bunch of wood for a lot of things. So I'm gonna chop this tree down. I really like this spot by the water. Oh yeah, do I have the hot spring tech unlocked? Probably do. I think if you put only one resource in the box, the pals do that box to store that specific resource. Oh, you think they do the stacking thing? Uh, let's see, we need more wood. Let's see if there's more sitting around here. I'm wondering, if I grab the stone and the wood, stone and the wood in here, I wonder if that'll encourage them to do that sort of thing. It's going to be hot stubs. Well, maybe I'll put it here. Oh, that's going to be a nice place. For I was going to put it near the beds, but you know what? Right there. What a great place to relax. Right by the waterfall, overlooking things. Hot tub with a view. Doctor, do you think it should be one specific resource, or do you think they'll put both wood and stone in the same one? They put both wood and stone. Maybe I should have one box for each just to keep my self sane. Pals have a better life than me, right? Yeah, maybe, well, maybe we'll do one for each resource. And the pals work hard, but they, they play hard, too. Oh, is that? <laughs> Big boy. Ah! There we go. Dude, dude, do you mind? Dude, dude, dude. He's going to use this as a water bowl. I wish I could zoom out. <laughs> really need a photo mode in this game. That's really, really want it. Oh, yeah, the storage category. And again, need more wood. Oh, yeah, see, he's working at uh, this thing here. There we go. We can grab this. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have a dedicated one for each then. Plus, it'll make it easier for me to find one versus the other. Set up some ranches might not be a bad idea. I mean, right now we've got tons of Money food. For Money, Money for Essentia. Thanks for the years of entertainment and introducing everyone to some great games. I hope Essential approves the way you treat the pals. Uh, wait, you hope I treat Essential like I treat the pals? Is that what you said? Oh, I hope Essential approves the way you treat the pals. 
Well, she's not going to approve of the way we capture the pals, unfortunately, but hopefully otherwise we try to be good for them. Beeper, thank you very much for that. That is really, really, really swell. And hey, if uh, there was money for Essentia, then I won't feel as bad about, like, ordering in some, uh, some, some little, maybe some chicken for myself tonight. And Essentia can get herself something. Probably she'll end up getting a bubble tea or something. <laughs> what else do you order? Oh, pho, maybe. Ooh, ooh. Is it a pho day? No. You upgrade the workstation. So there is a new one. We actually have it um, unlocked. So we should do that now. We have the high quality workbench. We'll need to get. Oh, yeah. So we need to get the furnace running. We'll need some more stone for that. But yeah, we get the furnace and we can start processing our ore into ingots. Yeah, we are going to rename some of these uh, pals. It was, you know, I'm not going to rename every single one of them. Oh, we still need the crusher just to advance things. Um, it was always going to be like our stars, the ones we use more often, or if money we get an alpha. Money for essential. You're already looking at bubble tea 45 seconds ago? An egg yet? No, we're not incubating the egg yet. We got to get that. We got to get that built. We'll have to see what the material is and figure out what order we're building things in here. The deer is taking a break. I say it's a pretty good game. I, I get it. It would be nice to Twitch integration. It would be nice for more things to do it, but... Just auto-naming your captured pals. Rename the one hatch from the eggs? Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be like good trait ones, alphas, ones that we make like a core part of our team. Because otherwise, it, we, we just capture too many, right? Okay, um... Well, I'll build the furnace now. Now, that's going to be from ore. I don't know if there's going to be a regular ore mine, but... I mean, we've got... There's an ore chunk over here, which is presumably going to respawn. So, I'm going to build the furnace here. Certain charm defeating name Twitch chat pals into the pal crusher. Um, it was always fun in, uh, what was it, Universe Sim, when we would go and throw some people in there. All right, we're going to start the ingot saying, there you go, that's something for our uh, fox sparks to work on. There you go. It's so satisfying, like, yeah! Okay, I honestly still need the crusher just to advance our um, our camp, and then we'll do the incubator. Yeah, I know that there's someone said something. There's like some hybridizing because I know you can you can breed your critters, your pals, and then yeah, there's some sort of hybridizing thing. Ooh. Waited. Do I have enough wood for the uh, crusher? Oh, I do. Good. So, let me put the crusher here. And it's not that I specifically need the crusher for whatever I'm doing at the moment, but it will level us our base one more time. It seems like a good idea. You know, maybe we should name our, uh, was it like, is it a life monk? Life monk. It's the only one we have. They're very useful around the base. I mean, they're just gonna be a hard worker because they're bad at battle, but they can do a million different jobs. I think we're going to name the Life Monk. That'll be our first one. So, if I go to our um, reward request and our name and game, high priority, it's Doc Villain! Okay, so um, I think if we go here, probably, and there, Doc underscore villain. Bam. Be nice if it so it still says it here. Be nice if under it or somewhere it still said Life Monk. Because one of the problems I've had when I've played Pokemon in the past is I've nicknamed everyone and then I forget what kind of Pokemon they are because I don't really know them that well. We tried Icarus. No, is that a game? So yeah, we can um, crush wood into fiber and we can crush stone into Paldium if we want. That's what this is for. But mostly what it was for is so we can complete our base upgrade to level 7, which does let us employ another pal if we wanted to. I have a hot spring and primitive furnace in the berry plantation, so I can actually go up to 8. And high quality rent workbench, medieval medicine bench we're going to want, and then deploy more people as well. But first, how do we get our egg cubator going on? Egg incubator. Paldium and cloth. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to queue up some cloth to be made. And then secondly, I'm going to go and whack some more pal. Do these respawn over here? Looks like maybe no. Let's just head off in a random direction. Paldium's all over the place. 
Mostly it seems to be near the water. You're getting me dis decent from audio. Uh oh. Yours is fine? Okay. I mean, it could just be Twitch doing Twitch things. You read a pal palladium, palladium. Yeah, I did as well as well uh, the first time too. And I probably said it a few times. But it's palladium. Because it's all about pals in here. Uh, yes, I think the sheep do produce wool in the ranch. I guess we never did build the ranch. I only have one um, pal sphere as well. We're going to have to build more of those before we go oot and a boot. This ore here is very heavy. Let me go back to just pallium mining for a sec here. The only great thing about this and others in the general world setting, you can tweak the ranch you're liking. Yeah, I didn't act oh, is this damaged already? Okay, we, now that we're making ore, one of the things we're gonna be able to do is make a um, metal version of some of our tools here. What the heck? Just generic egg. I think that's an egg we eat and not incubate. He's hungry. Give me wool. My fox part. I think my cat here, my cativa, I think they're actually, I think these are actually higher level than that. Yeah, they're level uh, 12, but they get down leveled to match your uh, your stats. Okay, I'm going to put the, do I have enough? Oh, the cloth. But presumably I have cloth now waiting for me. Excellent. So I'm going to put the egg incubator maybe inside the house, actually. I want it to be safe, although we don't have much room. Overlap, overlap. No, okay. It's fine. I'm going to put it right outside my front door. So I can check on it first thing in the morning, last thing at night. We do have a lot of rock. We could crush rise. House have seen larger sheds. I know, it's tiny. People have made some pretty big houses. Build an extension? Maybe. Maybe I could have still put it in there, but this is fine. All right. So I'm wondering. They don't stack, huh? Hey, what? All the construction material I'm going to grab. I'm going to put all the eggs in here. Uh, yeah, and again, those are food eggs. I'm wondering about starting with just a common egg. Just. In case there's something about this I don't understand, I don't want to ruin a slightly more special one. Seems very comfortable. Incubation speed. Okay. I wonder if being near the fire is helping with that. I wonder if different types of eggs want different surroundings. I love how it's like on a little cushion. It's so cute. We could build more than one. Okay, so all those are in there, which is good. Oh, it still ended up the duplicate. That's supposed to just be stone. I wonder if I screwed up because I'd added some wood in earlier. Oh, now they're putting in bears. Okay, so they don't actually... What is that button? Is that the take all? It is the take all. I don't think they actually pay attention to what's in these chests. I don't think they, they use it. Yeah, as far as you can tell, they take a close one. That seems to be uh, the case. But we experimented. Someone was bringing it up, so we gave it a try. Okay, we're going to sell you this. Ancient civilization parts. Extremely valuable. People from all walks of life will, are now seeking such crystals. I wonder if this is... Oh, it does say material. Although, so it's the ruby. If you really care, you can force filter by using multiple stacks of one. That's true, but yeah, it sounds like a huge pain in the butt. Oh, and they, they do dump the red, the raw berries in here. They do auto keep this up on our plantation, which is why people are suggesting moving that a little closer. We might, or we could put a more than one little feeding trough in for people. That's a possibility. People have tried that, but they just collapse the stacks. Oh, you're saying if you do... Okay, hold on. I don't want to make a stone pickaxe. Oh, also, yes. So the next thing I want to do under production is a high-quality workbench, which does require some nails. So we're going to have to use this to make nails first. Um, make five stacks, which will make ten nails. Good, okay. Start with this. And then, wait, what else did I need for it? 
I need some wood, which is accumulating, but I'm going to go and whack a tree over here anyway. I don't think it asked me for an ancient sieve part for the incubator. Oh, it did. Never mind. So I guess I must have had three. If I built one incubator and I got one left. Okay, that's good to know. I definitely don't want to sell those. May as well go and whack a few trees here for a sec. It's for those nails get made anyway. I may have to go and make them myself, depending on if any of my pals are doing the job for me. Of course, I do have more pal slots, too. I can go and drop some more in the base. I probably should. You can take it, um, uh, tame a pal to generate electricity. In fact, I have pals that can generate electricity. Um, I just don't, uh, I don't have anything that needs that yet. Oh, yeah, no one's been working on this. Okay, hold on. Let's consider deploying some more here. What I want is the ones that can do handiness. So, okay, these guys can do handiness things. So, Oh, you're a logging foreman as well. That's... Oh, it's increased the player logging efficiency. Okay, well, I don't care about that in this case, because I'm not going to have you deployed anyway. You get the parts killing boss pals. Ah! No forgetting about the ranch. That's a good point. I have to get more beds going here too. Um, I need stone for that. Get a couple of beds. Oh, oh. yeah, go to work. Nice job. Okay, well, they're busy doing that. I'll try to do the nails. This is a heck of a annoyingly slow job, though. Near the end of the day, this might be just a good one of like, all right, let me let me head out here. I guess I'd rather have the the. I want to have the ranch up first, maybe, before we leave. So, hang on. That's what we'll do. Oh, this pickaxe. Do I want... I guess I'm going to repair this pickaxe after all. God. There's so many things to do. <laughs> I'm, like, feeling very, like... There's a race condition going on. I'll build the ranch. Maybe two. Maybe we'll get one for chickens and one for our sheep. Uh, we could do one for the berry person as well, but I don't think we need as much. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go around adventuring. Oh, yeah, we might not have anyone mining stone. Actually, that's a good point. We don't need... I don't think we need the rush ore with us. So I'm going to go and put the rush ore in here. So we do have a dedicated miner. That should keep a steady supply of stone in. You try hammering a whole ass ingot and two nails. It'll take forever without modern tools. That's a good point. All right. I think I want to build the ranches over here. Quite big. We're left to their objects. What other objects? Are you overlapping with the fox park? God damn it! <laughs> okay, let's leave that path open there. Stupid pals. I wonder if we set a production queue or sign someone to it or if it all just happens automatically. We'll find out in a second. I would definitely like um, the wool production. I think that would be really handy. So that's definitely what I'm going to prioritize if it's something that I can choose to do. It might be this. It might just be picking up the pal and throwing up the thing to assign them to the task. Yeah, night's really dark, and we can install torches around our base, and we probably should. It'll look nice. Okay, you're done. Okay, so it just requires farming. So first of all, I can't remember if I've got. No, so we're gonna have to pull one of these out and make room. I don't think we need Kativa working here. We're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna get you there. Pick you up. There we are. You've been assigned to the ranch. Good. Nails are coming along. Are you sleeping out here? I have beds for everyone. <gasps> Incubation complete. We got a dire howl. Who is a pacifist? I'm gonna declare you not a winner. You got no other positive traits. Okay, this scorching egg. Let's 
seems a little cold. I wonder if this torch will warm the area. Could also be a put it inside the house kind of thing. Ignite. Mm. Maybe I should have put it near the fire. I mean, it's incubating. It's, it says incubation speed minus 0%. So presumably it's working. Maybe it's got a slight speed debuff that's not showing properly or something. I mean, I hope it doesn't ruin the egg. I think the last one was five minutes. This one is currently 10 minutes. I won't worry about it. All right. I think the plan might just be to go out adventuring now. Right, sleep. Uh, or we finish the nails. But I think it was like, I'm going to go while they're doing this. While they're working, and I'm going to go and adventure. I think I kind of like. Uh. It does auto-pull materials from base the boxes in your base, which is so nice. Yeah, and it could be that 10 minutes is normal time and 5 minutes was faster for the other one. Um, oh, did you go and light the torch again? That's nice. Now we got plus 50% incubation speed. That is triggering. Um, and it could be different eggs just have different timers for it. There's lots of different things that could be going on. Mm, let's do a little repair real quick. And I want to start building, like, I want to get the steel versions of these things and the triple bow. But we may have to go as is. All right. Where do we want to go? I'm actually wondering about this island hopper coast and then visiting this new island over here. Or, yeah, we could go back to chill it and take them on again. Oh, that reminds me. That's what I need to remember is I need a bunch of palace spheres. I don't have any. Oh, that's true. The daytime is also warmer, which might be part of it, too. For the egg. Yeah. We can go to Rain's Tower. We're level 11 now. I haven't checked out the big tree yet. Maybe we should just beeline the big tree. Putting a Vixie in the ranch generates pal spheres. Really? I don't have a Vixie yet, though, right? You're not short forming one of the ones I've already got. So yeah, the tree is that way. I think I just saw, yeah, you can see the top of the branches. So that's north of where we are. So somewhere over here is the big tree. So that makes me think we could do this and then keep going that way. I'm wondering about revisiting Chillet and trying to capture it. Although we don't have any more of the mega balls. Maybe I could wait until then. Oh, right, I can't fast travel this way. that and drag further up on the map. I mean, the tree's not visible unless it's one of these spots. Did you ever play Secrets of Mana? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, certainly, clearly not extensively. Okay, there's a tree over there. So it's west, northwest from here. So it's somewhere over that way. All right, let's just wander around and see what we get. Is that another palace sphere right there on the ground? Or no, that's pallium. Oh, map's way bigger than you thought. You gotta go away. Oh, I would love more of these life monks. Although the running is quite annoying. I'm gonna take a lot of fire damage there, life monk. Don't know if it'll get captured. I'm mostly just trying to save its life. Life monks seem really useful for the base. Oh, damn it! There's uh, some combat. Syndicate thugs are attacking a Mamarest over there. Oh, I wanted to stab you. Also, there's another little sculpture here. This time for sure, right? What? You're so low. Just die. I'm just mad. Burb. Nightwing. Look at all the dead stuff. I don't think they drop loot if we're not involved in the kill, though. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Dang it. I'm gonna spam the heck out of this one. I look cool. 
Yes, Nightwing! Carry newer piles to the nest and raise them as surrogate hierarch. Once a baby pal has fattened up, it hunts them. Oh my god, some more effed up lore! Requires Nightwing saddle. Yep, we're gonna be building one of those. I'm assuming that one's a proper flying one. I'm also gonna be really happy when we get the, uh, the little feeding thing. We're gonna have to kill more bosses. I wonder if I can get more ancient um, tech points from killing the same boss again. Probably not, but I might be able to get more um, tech bits from from farming them. I mean, how quickly they respawn. These guys are aggro. It's good for XP. I'm still wondering if I should be saving those or those spheres for something I haven't seen yet. Those wolves that attack. I don't know what's in the water over there. Ah, oh, Kremis, where I rode so long in time. Yeah, use the stamina as well. You can't just use it for like fast traveling the entire map. Still though, it's really cool. The only thing I've got a like a mount set up right now for is for one of the rush boars, and they weren't. It, it didn't feel much faster. That's a cool looking tree. Okay, it's just not positioned correctly on the ground, but it is. I kind of like the idea that like these should just be trees that like weirdly, they they put down roots, but their main trunk isn't. It doesn't touch the ground. It's just incorrectly placed, but I want that to be the new lore. Valley, what are you? Oh, level 20, 25, Masanda. Oh, it's a moss panda. We might just be in an area that's too high level. Boxes in combat with something. Oh, three pal alliance devout are attacking the moss panda. Okay, let's not get involved in that. 21, yeah, okay, there's too much high level stuff here, but I would like to grab a fast travel point, although fast travel points to our south over here. Ugh. Not see any markers to the north. Are there? I'm worried that I'm walking to an area where I'm not gonna be able to fast tra travel back out of here. I think I saw... Is that a green orb up there? Why well, didn't do it with Palines? It's right there. Did you see that damage number? I'm a little concerned about this. <laughs> now we're fine. Yeah, I'm thinking if it's if it's something that maybe just like suicided itself, like did a, a self explosion, and it was just doing that damage to itself here. Man, that is some rock climbing. Okay, that is unappealing here. Until you fall damage does exist. Okay, I need to stop climb mode here. Okay. Find something to settle on. Can I... No, disengage climb mode. This, there you go. There's a green glow over there. I'm hoping that's the one I saw. I mean, I'm assuming, unless there's two green things. Nope, stop. There you go. There's still combat music going on, I think. Is it below me? Did I just imagine it? Where the hell? Uh, huh. Oh, there it is. Um. Oh, this ain't good. Nope. Nope. But yeah, it's very mild amounts of fall damage. So it's up over this way somewhere. Yeah, we gotta unlock the grapple gun. That's gonna give us mobility. I thought I saw one also on the left. I think there might be two. Or the saddle to fly up, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Go back to base, get the saddle for the new night wing. Yeah, health regenerates over time. There it is. Uh, can I complete this climb? Screw it, two more stamina points in here. Seems too useful. I wonder if we... Yeah, we, we should have four now. Actually, we might have more than that. I don't know where it adds up. Oh, it's under key items. Four. There you go. So we can get one more upgrade to our... Um, and I like that these items stay here and don't eat up weight. That's good. Uh, we've got enough to increase our uh, capture rate again. So there's still no fast travel point on my, um, my map radar. And everything here is super high level. So... I think we should probably head back. I think what I'll do is I'll try to cut southwest and see if we come around here somewhere different. Whoops. <sighs> Meant to land on top of that, but okay. You can fast travel to your base from any fast travel point. 
the fast travel, as far as you can t I can tell, you can't just do on the map. Like, I can't just click on one of these and go there. I need to be at a fast... Please don't attack me. You are very terrifying. And stream another long one. Uh, well, we on Saturdays, we go into four. So we've got another hour and a little bit. No chests that we can see. No effigies. Oh, directly west. There's a fast travel point over this way. That's great. B guards. Yeah, see, they're level 20. We're definitely not in the right place for our level. But the exploration part of it is fun. Trying to make sure I don't burn through all my stamina on the glide. Gora Rat. I think the Gora Rat was the thing that was shotgunning me. So I would like to avoid it if I can. I've seen you jump off a mountain without hesitation. Yeah, no, I love that mobility. Um, so the class. What the heck is this thing? Small pale soul. Pale soul. Oh, I've gotten some from chess. I don't think I've ever seen any just lying around before. Um, what when I played World of Warcraft. I could once, after the Burning Crusade expansion, the first expansion, which gave um, druids the flight form. No, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got flight form then. Um, that's when they introduced flying. I couldn't play any other class ever again. The ability to just leap off something and then shapeshift into a flying form, that's a mega sphere. That's nice. And I don't really want to tangle with those things, but I do want to loot this golden chest. Um, I couldn't do anything else. Because, like, yeah, anyone can summon a mount, but the mount took, like, a half-second animation time. You couldn't do it while falling, whereas shapeshifting was instant. So you could fling yourself off a cliff and then shapeshift into your flying form immediately. Ah! Fast travel. Go. Anywhere. And Drew Gathering was OP. Yeah, it was just so convenient. Okay. Now that my panicked thing is done, let's see... I don't know if it's faster for me to walk here or to go to the Fort Ruins. Let's go to the Fort Ruins and then see about taking on Chillit again. Oh, right. Click. Click. Go. I got another uh, Mega Sphere. So I gotta go south. Up there. Another Mega Sphere. And we've got some Pal Spheres. I'll just try to um, retract my pet a little sooner. I think it got the kill. And I mean, we got some loot out of it. Oh, hold on. Let me just rest for a sec here. <laughs> Stamina back. Okay. And yes, I'm higher level. We're using the same gear. But otherwise, you think the fast travel in this game feels too restricted? I don't know. It Fast travel in any game is always an interesting point of discussion, right? Um, like... Does it does it minimize the importance of exploration and travel and things like that? Like if it's too trivial. Um, so Fallout 4 might be a good example of that. What the? You're different. I thought you were a life bunk. So Fallout 4, by default, right? You can just... You bastard, get in there. You can just open the map, click anywhere, fast travel to it. And if you played in survival mode, there was no fast travel. And what was nice about the fa fast travel, the, the survival mode fa non fast travel, is you really got an appreciation for the sense of the world, but it has become too tedious. So where's where's the, the middle line? Of course, it'll depend on the game, the experience they're trying to go for, etc., etc., etc. I'm worried I don't have enough pal spheres. I'm not going to be disappointed here, but let's see what we can do. Pals the ad rolls. Uh, I'll bring it up. I guess we'll have to wait until we get back to camp before I can load it. Okay. Oh, there's an aggro tansy over there for some reason. Maybe about to die. I don't see chill it. So if it does respawn, it might just take longer. Isn't fast travel the only way to get in and out of the institution? Well, there's the teleporter. Like, you can go physically to the teleporter. You do it, right? Because that's how you get there the first time. And I think on survival, that might still be the way it works. Thank you for the free things. This one is slightly stuck. Okay with that. A good, a good life monk would be appreciated. Level 12 as well. Okay. I think before the stream ends, we're going to go for the boss at Rain Syndicate Tower. So that's going to be our goal now. Um, see if we can unlock any other relevant tech. We didn't see... I mean, unless we just didn't spot it, which is entirely possible. But I don't think I saw a shiny on this run. And again, instantly at the start of the last game, I got one. Or my, the start of my first game, I got one. And then I got a second one about an hour into it. Neek. Boss. 
attack bonus 17%. That's still not great. Oh, okay. That is remarkably useful. I guess maybe you don't have to spend as much time murderizing them as I thought. Um, I don't know why some of those whiffed. I mean, some of those attacks were legit misses, but a few of them felt like, come back. I want to hug you and pet you and force you into some work. All right, great. Um, fast travel point. I think a close. Oh, an egg. Oh, it's not a it's not a hatchable egg. It's an eatable egg, which speaking of eating, we should do some of that. Nom, 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 nom. How about you? Are you good? Oh, you're good. No, there's just give you some baked berries. I think I'm just going to check the other side of the wall. These areas do feel like they often have like little chests and lootables. Oh, is that a bunch of arrows in the middle? Well, that's very convenient. All right, don't mind that. Is that a Nightwing? It is. I think I've already looted that thing, yeah. We'll have to see if we can make the Nightwing saddle, too. Mm. Yeah, the Sparket is... It's got the uh, the lightning tail that gives you kind of a, uh, a pikachu -y kind of vibe. Okay, let's see what hatched out of this egg. Flame Bell, you're new! You have three pips of artisan. I got another scorching egg, so we'll throw it in there. Um, I think it's still got the plus 50%. So, Life Monk. All right, we got that Tansy. Yep, very skilled at lots of different things. Is a dainty eater? You don't get hungry as much? Yeah. Sati. Oh, satiation. I kept thinking it was a sanity meter when I was looking at the numbers. Flame Bell. Sometimes produces flame organ when assigned to the ranch. Really? That's useful. Artisan, work speed plus 50%. Holy crap, Flame Bell. There's also a sanity meter. Okay. Oh, so, so there's Seichi is like the hunger one and the sanity is their happiness. All right. Wow. Oh, right. And then when oh, we have the Nightwing in here, do we have a Nightwing saddle tech? Let me unlock you. Oh, it might be, uh, we're not high enough level, I bet. Yeah, Nightwing Saddle. We're going to have to be level 15 before we can unlock it. Okay, so I'm just going to go and put the Nightwing... What's the power of Gaia? Oh, yeah, increased Earth attack damage. Uh, we're just going to go and put you into the box for now, Nightwing. Oh, yeah, I didn't build the uh, medicine or the high-quality workbench. What I'm going to do is I will... Build mode, destruct mode, disassemble you. And then build the high quality workbench in place. Assault rifle tech. Yeah, assault rifles, missile launchers. Boss is 30k health. A few people mentioned it. I was trying not to address it because it was a little spoiler. It'd be fun. It, imagine I got it, got in there, think about it, and been like, you have how much health? Now we don't get that moment, but that's fine. For, the, for this purpose, 30k is... That's a lot of health. We're we're not gonna be able to take care of that right now. We need way better weapons. But you still need the old table? I thought this table did everything the old table did. But faster. Is there anything missing? Well, if we have to rebuild it, we rebuild it. Uh, I'm thinking I didn't unlock the medicine one. Hal spheres? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, we need to get our triple bow finally made. Yeah. I think everything else might be in there, just not the pal sphere. Strange. Yeah, here's the meat cleaver. Knife for butchering summon pals. When equipped, the pet command becomes butcher. Butchered pals will not return. There's also the pelt armor over here, which is better protection. And that does need the high-quality one to do. Hansy's Assault Rifle. Nails and Pally. Well, I'm not going to use all the ingots, but we are going to start that. Oh, yeah, that's such a long freaking job. 
there's a dedicated ball work. That's what I was thinking. Like, there's probably another place to build the pal spheres after. So I guess we got to keep this around for now. Okay, so medicine workbench. So I'm going to need more wood that I've used it and then palladium, but we're going to wait for the nails. I'm going to go and sleep to advance time. Uh. Very funny to me, the game it feels need to tell you butcher pals are not your yeah. It's like, where did my favorite Pokemon go? What? You, you ate it. It was your dinner. Where do you think it went? Oh yeah, we could use a crusher. How much stone do I have? I don't have... No, I have no stone, really. Like, yeah, we could make some, but... We're actually going to have to go and bash some rocks in a second here. And we have a little rock mine, but we're also using the rocks for some of the other construction stuff we were doing. Oh, yes, the Shine Idol. Thank you. Here, let's go do that now before I forget. For the, in, of the up capture rate. Enhance. Woo! All right, so we're going to need seven for the next upgrade. Maybe plus three every time. We should build more ranches so that we can have more of the, uh, the auto production. And yeah, we do have to do more night exploration for different pals. Apparently we need some stone. Well, yeah, not only do I misread wax, the other thing is every time I see the baked berries, I think it's baked beans. I'm like, hmm. Go some baked beans. Oh, several piles can be in the ranch at the same time. Okay. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of the pickaxe for now. I really need to make the uh, the new better one. The metal one. But it's like every other game, right? It's like we want to do all the things, and then we've got to prioritize what order we're making things in to get our material. Incubation complete. Arse ox! An arse ox. Oh, I just set myself on fire. It's fine. This is fine. Uh, oh, right here. It's level one, okay. Runner skill. 20% increase to movement speed. Is that to me? Well, I have it equipped, it's just its movement speed. I don't know which one of these I need. The Kumas isn't doing anything right now, but I think they're my planter. Oh no! Doc Villain can also plant. Okay, I don't need the Gumas. So we'll deploy the Flame Bell. And I mean, you'll do whatever, but I want to be very explicit here, Flame Bell. It is, I guess the ranch is very big. Look at all the wool. Get in there and make me some fire resources. All right. Maybe we don't have to go around, like, decimating the population of the, uh, what do I call the lamb, lamb balls? Maybe we don't need to do that anymore. Oh my god, the nails are still taking forever. I guess we can use multiple cues now, so that's good. Took the quarry and lumber place. Oh, right! There's just, some of it just sits around. And Oh, that's right! I have to collect this manually. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I can't move at all. And I can't... Wait. Oh, holding F attacks. I can't reach the chest! Okay, that's fine. What we can do is we can do this. Um... Drop the wool, or drop the, the wood, which is done this way. Move slightly over this way, collect it, there you go. Put it in the box. I forgot you have to do the acquire here. Oh, again, I needed to be just a little bit closer. Pick up, and put it in the box. All right, how much do we like this night one? Before we think about naming something. Our guy is so so, but it's our only one right now. All right, I'll take you out of the uh, the queue here. I mean, you not you might not get played with for a little while. Even dark, I don't. Okay, the dark dire hall is apparently some people are saying pretty quick, but I don't think we're gonna use you. This you can still help with carrying capacity, but I wonder if the 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 pals who are with us get more XP more fast. 
I think I'll I'll Fox Fox Parks I'm using for a decent amount of combat. I mean we might want to back up strong one and sort by level. Who's our other high levels ones? You're a coward. You're destructive? Sand drops faster. And that just breaks even. Bugging foreman. What a we need a death machine. We need a combat thing. I don't really have one. Alright, I'll grab the Kativa as a backup. Because you do have decent hit points. A brave coward. I know, right? Oh, look at this. They're carrying and then changing their mind, dropping it, and then picking it up again. I really do have to move this over. Okay, let me build another feeding place. Um, over here. Because they're definitely doing dumb things. I'll leave enough room in case I want to add a couple more fields. No reason to destroy the old one. I can leave it for now. Uh, we do have an egg incubating. Oh, wait. I thought I put one in. I must have distracted myself. Here, we'll do the large damp egg. 40 minutes! Seems a little hot, maybe during the day. Or can I extinguish the torch? Looks like no. Oh, it is large. You're right. I wonder if it's an alpha. Or just, you know, from a different pool of things. Things that maybe higher base level. Am I able to build the medicine thing yet? No. Okay. We need one more nail, so I'll do this. Slow job. We don't we don't have enough for pals like working at these stations. Some of them might be stuck, which does happen. What you have to do is you have to um, put them back in your pal box and then reissue them. Um, I don't know if it's less likely to do it if we've spaced things out or if it's just completely random glitches, but I, I suspect if we were to look around, we would find some of these just not, not present. Go back and capture Laxasaur. That's level 20. Doesn't mean we couldn't do it. Oh, I'm hungry. That was very filling. Let's try the Rimworld Pokemon mod sometimes. I have seen that. I haven't tried it myself. Okay, that's done. So now we can level this station up again. It gives us more work slots. Cooler box, sphere workbench. Yeah, there it is. Now, actually, am I high enough level to do the sphere workbench? No, we have to be level 14 for that. Okay. Suspicious juice, juice that improves mood when consumed. Drinking it gracefully increases work speed for a period of time. It's caffeine is what it is. But yeah, these don't heal. They just remove conditions. Oh, there we go. They're working now, which is great. I'm just waiting for these jobs to finish. There we go. I guess I can do the machine, the, the metal tools here. Oh, maybe I can't. No, I have to do the metal tools at this place. Um, let me cancel the nails job. So, time to replace. My, my current pickaxe is broken anyway. So we're gonna build ourselves our metal pickaxe now. And yeah, we do have another pal slot in the base. I don't know who to employ for that. Maybe another handyman here. Yeah, like another crafter, yeah. I don't think I can build a second base yet. Right. No, next level I'll be able to have a second base. And you can fast travel between your bases, so that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna discard the stone pickaxe. Equip the metal one, which I'm hoping works a faster and lasts longer, yeah. Durability and efficiency is improved, that's great. Do I have enough material? Oh, we should do the three-shot bow. That's going to be very important. Bags having a dance party. I love how the penguin just carries the wood on his head. That's so cute. Is that flamer actually working inside the base? There's a little pouch there. Maybe he did drop a fire essence or whatever it's called. Let's go and take a look. Okay, three-shot bow yet. We're going to equip that there, get rid of the old bow. Yep, Flame Morgan. Excellent. Production speed is definitely lower, but that's fine. You know what? We're going to want more ore. Oh, you should go and pet all the pals. You're right. Oh, I don't have one select. Yeah, this one's going to be a little, a little bit of a spicy pet. Ouch, ouch, so No. Ah. 
Pet all the pets, make sure you don't have the meat cleaver equipped. Uh -huh, I know. Because it replaces it. I guess I guess you're you're still convincing your pet to come over. Uh we're gonna switch here. Mirror. Oh who's a good boy or girl? Good boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah, is it you? It is. Somewhere in the house, Bella's ears are like perked up. I was petting another dog. This is unacceptable. That's that's what she sounds like in my head. Quip knife for aggressive petting. Um Hey what? I mean we'll Oh, do I not have any more tech points? Oh! I didn't realize I exactly spent my tech points. I was sitting on so many of them for such a long time. Okay. I say, oh, maybe we can unlock a few more things to do, but... Um, we don't have the metal axe. But my stone axe is good for now, so I'm not going to worry about building it immediately. We got the shield. The parachute's good. I mean, we can process some wool into cloth here, and that's fine. Here, before, before we AFK, I'll set up another nail job, because it takes such a long time to do. Oh, I did get new armor. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Health armor. It's made out of leather. Cool. And yeah, we can support one more pal. To build another bed, too. Oop. Gear was upset and went to bed. Uh, bashing its head against a tree all day. I don't blame it. So, one thing we probably want to do, maybe in the future, is when we build our logging camp and our stone pits, is make sure the chest is right next to it. So we can reach, but it's there's a good chance we'll be fine anyway. Uh, pelt armor, so I'm gonna equip you. So my cloth armor had 15 defense, this is 35. I mean, that's quite a lot. We're at 150 overall, so I'll discard you. Oh, we do get some of the material back from it, that's good. I suppose as long as I'm... Acquire. Oh no, yeah, it's still too far. There's not actually a way for me to do the drop off without moving. So that would be something to try to reposition better for our next base. Oh, we need more arrows. Okay, we do need a lot of arrows. Well, I guess I could just start production and just, you know, cancel it at some point. Yeah, let's play the monkeys. Sure. The Canadians use the OU spelling. So um, for many things, it's very inconsistent. Um, whether the British spelling or the American spelling is used for things. Let's deploy Tansy. We didn't have one deployed. Dainty eater, so you don't get hungry as often. It's very inconsistent. Now, for armor in particular, now this might be because I'm used to playing D&D &D or various things like that. Um, my experience and how I spell it. So I spell a lot of the words with, with the U in it. Um, what's an example of a word that... The Americanized way is just an O, and the British way is it got a U. Having a hard time. Color! Color! So I spell color with a U in it all the time. But armor, I spell it without the U. Because consistency. Same with you in color because of program. Yeah, if you're doing like a lot of web programming, right, and you have to work with like your CSS, like the, the, the parameter is just color with no U in that. So, yeah, it's funky. Canadians do fun things with the uh, word center. So uh, if we're talking about like centering something, like putting something in the middle, then we spell it ER. But if we're talking about the place, like an arena, the something something center, then it's RE. Because why not? Theater or theater? I'm not sure. And then um, it doesn't help either that, of course, French is my first language. And in French, it's like the RE is the way it goes. So it should be théâtre. E R E. Even in America, sometimes there'll be a place called the whatever center with the R E or the something theater R E if they're trying to be fancy. Uh -huh. We're feeling. I'm feeling very. So I haven't played a lot of the Final Fantasy games, other than the Final Fantasy Legend series on Game Boy, which technically weren't Final Fantasy games. They were the saga games, anyway. Uh, and I played the original Final Fantasy one on Nintendo way back when, but that is all. Um, I, except that technically I did play Final Fantasy ten a tiny little bit. Anyway, the, this outfit just like feels very Final Fantasy to me, right? A little weird dangling shit on the belts and things. All right, that's a good number of arrows. I'm gonna leave the job in the queue, and actually, I'll leave a thingy in this queue too, so that maybe someone will work on things. Well, actually, not the clock. The clock is super fast. Let me pick up more um, iron ore. 
and throw it in here for nails to be made because they are apocalyptically long jobs. Yeah, no, that's my shield, yeah. Which I like, because originally when I built them, I'm like, why don't I have a shield in my hand? We don't need charcoal for anything yet. I'm wondering about starting a task for it. Just, you know what? I will. Just so that it's ready for something later. It's going to use our wood, but that's fine. Uh, maybe not literally all of it. Do some charcoal, which I'm sure will be useful at some point for some reason. And then over here, do this. We're going to end the stream with us attempting the syndicate boss. I'm like, F5 to quick save. Okay, that's not that kind of game. Um, what if... Okay, what if dying is super annoying to get our stuff back? I'm trying to, like, click on the storage menu over here. That's not going to work. Let me put down another wooden chest here. And I'm just going to put, like, everything in there. Except arrows and some food. So if we die... I won't be too worried. Maybe I'll bring my regular spheres. That's fine. Oh, let's sort so that it resets the food timers because that, you know, makes sense. I'll just bring a bunch of fake berries. That's going to be okay. Um, I bet you we get better chests later that hold more. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've died before and I've done corpse running. I'm just worried, like, what if the, the dungeon corpse run is super problematic for some reason. So the copper key can be used to unlock some treasure chests. Maybe I'll bring one with me in case there's one in there. So we got food, arrows, and that. That's going to be fine. Okay, so that's the Syndicate Tower. We have the, the fast travel point for it. Yeah, I guess we could take more pals just so we have more replacements. That seems reasonable. Let's sort by level... You, you, and you. We'll just have a variety of random pals. Um, I guess we're going to sleep because the dark, the night is dark and full of terrors. Actually, the night is full of different pals that I would like to collect at some point, but okay. Let's go. Uh, another 26 minutes on the large bag. Fast travel. Syndicate base. So the, it's, this is a tutorial mission to go and kill this guy. Yeah, we could stat point first. I've got one stat point. I don't know about adding it into the combat stuff. Because so I think it just gives it like two extra rating. You can see our sphere is like 35, so it's not much of a difference. I can throw more stamina in for dodging. I don't know. I'm going to save my one stat. Nah, screw it. Let's put it in. I was going to put it in stamina unless someone's got like a specific suggestion for a stat. That turns out is useful. Let me know. I'm sorry, HP is a, HP is a stat. So we are 700 is the equipment enhancement. How much do we get HP out of? Oh, 100 HP? Okay, HP is worth investing in. That's super worth it. I have a time limit. So you can't just slowly plunk away at a boss. You got to do some real damage. All right. This might be something to be that would be good to have friends for. Heavily stamp. Stamp is good. I put uh, so my first maybe three or four points went to the carrying capacity, which was useful. Oh my god, this feels like a, a freaking Pokemon bass battle. This is the um, this is like the rocker one from uh, Sword and Shield. Is the vibing being? What's her name? Mandy Mori. I feel like it starts with an M. She was really cool. I think she's only in one of the two, but also Team Rocket vibes. What the fudge, man? Hey. Zoe and Grizzle. A very um, Borderlands intro. I mean, also, oh my god. Am my Pokemon not deployed? That is a lot of hit points. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, okay, okay. Whoa, settle down, buddy. And I guess it would be bet. Look, like, I'm not gonna do any real damage here. This would be best with someone who could counter electricity. Earth type? Okay, we can maybe use these pillars. Although, time limit. Wait, I wonder if I can stab you from here. Oop, not anymore. Boar, which I didn't bring. Now, I'm hoping they just get knocked out. 
and don't perma die if I don't swap them. We haven't done it yet. Oh, I think I think you just went down. Yeah. All right, next up. Yeah, we're. Whoops. Woohoo! So, th ooh, that AOE and it's a stun. Okay, this could be doable for us, actually. I appreciate the difficulty of the boss fight, but I think it would be doable at our level with a little more prep. Now that we know what to expect in here, this is fine. Are you being pulled in? I wonder if I could save you with like a quick little swap. Of course, it resets the aggro, so now you're coming at me. And I don't think we've really, we haven't really gotten much luck with uh, getting pals that were very com uh, combat centered. But yeah, I'm wondering now if we come in here with like five boars, especially if we can get some with a combat stat, we'd have to level them up a little bit too. Okay. Ooh, you got frozen. That's nice. Now, that batch of arrows did two damage each. Is that because I hit him when he was frozen? Or did I not pull back enough? I'm wondering if while he's frozen, he doesn't take much damage. We're going to have to watch for that. I also wonder if there's like a crit spot. If I aim for her. Oh, hello. Hello. Remember you're done. Listen, there's a reason I don't play Souls games. I love the little hop. Oh, that, okay, that did cancel my, my pullback. So yeah, go for, uh, go for headshots. Oh, tight. Listen, I have the reflexes of a geriatric turtle. So, you know, don't expect too much from me. And yeah, so far as I can, where the hell? Oh, geez, he's coming right for me. Oh Lord, he's coming. Um, so far, I haven't found any items, as far as I know, that actually heal. Like, the medicine is, like, um, removes conditions so far, as far as I can tell. So, I haven't found any heal pots. Maybe that comes later. Okay, you're halfway down. If we had more hit points here, or a way to regenerate it, I think my health, my health is also ticking up. And we're more than half, they're more than halfway down. Seems to be stress eating. Listen, I, oh, no, run. Um, and we're ahead of the timer. Shit. We're going to run out of uh, pals, maybe. Nice set of crits. I mean, they built the pillars here for a reason. Oh, geez. Come on. I'm playing with fire here. Nope. Ah. Like that meme from like, is it from the Souls community? where like the one guy who's just like rolling around. Some knight, not taking it. Could you, could you aggro on my, my pal or something? Give me a chance to shoot you in the face some more. This is eating into our, our time here. There go. Oh, I hit the pillar. Nope, shit. Um, are you? Oh! You have a laser beam, then we can break aggro. Next time you laser beam my uh, pal, I'm gonna try to uh, pull you back into the bag. Oh, speaking of pal, uh, I think you're downed. Oops, that's the wrong button. Swap. Okay. Now, ah! I'm assuming water is a bad choice for electricity here. Even though I remember when I played Pokemon the first time, I assumed water would be good against electricity because I'm like, well, water shorts out electronics, right? Oh, see, that laser beam targeting? Here, we're gonna go and reset that to try to dodge that laser beam targeting on my pet. Am I out of arrows? Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, I think we'd be fine if I had brought more arrows. Oh, there's laser beam. Break, break targeting, break. Okay. And I think now is where we lose. Oh yeah, our I think all of our pals oh, you're still okay. Yeah. If we had just brought more arrows, we'd be we'd be fine. Here, dodge the laser beam. Come back out. No. Okay, no more. Oh, you're still up. Although not for very long. 
Damn, you did a huge amount of damage. Yeah, we'd be fine. Yeah, they're all offline. No more pets for us. I don't think there's any way for me to just leave the battle. I guess, can I just throw myself off the edge? I didn't realize, well, this is fine. Hang on, if I kill enough time to maybe get a little bit of health, I might be able to do this. I got my shield too, maybe that's the thing. Go, go until I lose the shield. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, well there's a shield and you're hopping all over me. Okay, let the shield regen. That's a lot of damage to do with just my spear though. I mean, 10 more arrows. Well, it's three per shot. I mean, if 30 more arrows, I think we'd have this. Easy peasy. That might be the AOE one. Okay, come on, shield regen. Well, oh, that's right. You can respawn the escape button. Do I drop my shit, though? I wonder if my shit, like, it would get dropped outside. Nope. That was a failed dodge. Okay. Hang on. I don't think I can do enough damage quickly enough. If there wasn't a timer, I now feel like I can do this. Which is impressive, given how this is so not my thing. Don't have shield. Oh, this roll's not working very well. You definitely don't get iframes while rolling. Maybe you take reduced damage while shooting. Hard to dodge his uh, AoE explosion clap. One minute to go. No, we're not going to cut it. I can't do a thousand. You get iframes, you time them slightly. I mean, I'm never going to time that properly. <laughs> oh, I'm stunned. Oh, my armor is damaged too. Well, that's not going to help. My broke. My armor is broken. No, that's it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do it again. We'll just get the arrows. We're going to be fine. Going to be fine. Yeah, so I think my loot's dropped there, but I can respawn. I don't think I can respawn at my base. Oh, wait, I can. Never mind. And yeah, tweak the pals too. Um, which. So let's not bring a water type or a water type. And then the problem is my, this guy's only level six. Uh, Gamasa's earth. The cat did do huge damage. I mean, the cat's just normal type, but he was a death machine. Brittle and unstable. Well, the unstable doesn't matter. The brittle is a little annoying. I'm, I mean, ideally we just farm better versions of those and just bring another cat with us. Positive thinking. This is a coward, which is minus 10 attack. Right, those break even. Do the turret thing for one of them. It was a monkey that could do the turret. Now I'm gonna go and get my gear. That was 132 arrows. That's a lot of arrows. Oh yeah, I need to look at um, these guys. Oh, we got a level 13 boar here. And the deer, deer's not earth. Oh, they're still down. We need to put them in the box to res. Um, can I just right click? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that to happen regardless. But these last three we have to remember. As I say, I'll make the corpse run now, but the corpse is like at the uh, the boss fight. So we may as well just pick it up when we're ready to go. Oh, but I need to repair my armor. Okay, oh wait, hold on. I can fast travel there. Fast travel here, go and pick up my shit, come back, repair it. Arrows are still being crafted. We'll potentially grab some more. I mean, there's no reason to like not just take all the arrows forever. I don't remember how many I went in with last time, but I feel like it was we're like 50 or 80. We already got more arrows, but it'll be. Um... Oh, there. wrong side and 80 plus arrows. Yeah, so we need like we're going to need more. These are required max. There you go. Be great if uh, we had maximum assistance over here. It's only one can help at a time. I'm just gonna hold F. Does triple bow shoot one arrow as three shots? It, I, it says, it says by some strange mechanism it only consumes a single arrow when fired. So, I'm not sure that this guy is helping. Well, maybe he was. Oh, now he's moving away. Okay, I think I want to take one of these guys and force them to stay on duty here. Hang on. I don't trust you to just pick and choose your own jobs. 
Get. Um, let me repair real quick. Repair every. Oh, I need stone. Yeah, well, there's probably some waiting for us over here. Dump things afterwards. Pyros do sound nice. But they do take more material. Ah, uh, fibers. And we can generate fibers from the crusher. Oh yeah, I forgot to summon someone. Normally I have someone out. You know what? Yeah. Wait, can I not make... Can I not work this on my own? One of our pals has to work this. Get to work. I know you can want. Oh, you're unresting. You. No, not you. You. Come here. There. Are you going to bed now, too? And it requires. Oh, someone's. Someone's progressing it. Or they were. I wonder if there's someone stuck. Or, no, I think you're assigned to it. You're just. You're eating, and then you'll go do it. Unless you're going to go rest. Your sanity is awfully low. Are you having pathing problems, my friend? There he goes. Okay, now you're working on it. Good, 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 good. Oh, you don't think the penguin can water? Uh, yeah, he's got the little watering can icon. It was telling you supposed to why it didn't work there. Was it? It's got the... Look, the penguin can clearly water. Look at him go. He's watering. And then when I get close, he's got the little watering can. Does they need cooling? Is that... There was a red message. Oh. Um. Okay, you still need time. Fully repair the armor. Fully repair the bow. I don't need wood for that. Well, I think I might. I think we've got enough fiber now, so I'm gonna acquire and cancel the rest of this. Free up the wood. I don't need the metal pickaxe fixed right now, so that's fine. We have too many jobs and not enough pals. It is like playing Room World. Need to restart. Yeah, the crafting stations do bug out sometimes. Uh, you can unassign all your all your pals. You go here, or it might you know maybe it's the right time to do a save. If I go and return to title, game will automatically be saved. We might we might have a bunch of stuck pals that aren't being productive right now. The battle pets are currently resting in the pool, so they should be resing. Oh yeah, release it from the crusher. Yeah, is it gonna just be assigned there with nothing else? Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> you just throw you over here so you get there you go switching to automatic mode we're getting a little uh hammer icons with everything oh and i, I could do one more powell oh yeah because i pulled some people off the other work you're resing here we'll just throw another monkey in here because they can do a lot of jobs there you go you're gonna help out over here beautiful i have tried catching a human um they have not been caught yet you have the smg in the grass but um my uh my monkeys are really low level right now or they sorry the chipmunk Monk's really low level right now. Life monk. I did use my idols to upgrade my catch rate again. Yeah, we've done it twice. Yeah, see, I think the pals are working better now. So yeah, restart from time to time to, cause yeah, they get they get weirdly stuck. Can we check the stats of the other squirrel we caught? Uh, I don't know. One's cheery and one's a dragon killer. Butcher works on humans. Oh boy. It might be a level 13 going in here again because we're getting XP from this. So we're just waiting for our uh, pals to res. We'll take another crack at the base, at the boss. We'll put slightly over on stream time, but not by much. Sencha, do you know if uh, Kiss for Luck is going to be playing this on our stream today? Yeah, a minute and a half for those. You pet the humans. We'll have to find out once we capture one. The chipmunk assigned to base was high level. Hey, level eight. The dainty eater. We could continue bringing you. Um, let me cancel the rest of this nail job. Oh no. Um. Here, okay, that's fine. 
We can make the submachine gun upgrade. Activates partner skill, will ride on your head, fire at enemies. Do we just do that and then run around and not and try to avoid getting hit? Oh, did I take the monkey, not the shook monk? Yeah, I keep getting confused between the two. That is Tansy. Level four. Level ten. Oh, Doc Villain! Yeah, okay. I mean Doc Villain's a work slave. I don't remember if that lowers their combat skill. Oh yeah, minus 30 attacks pretty bad. Minus 30 attacks, pretty bad. I mean, if we do some things to gain XP, maybe the other one will level up. And bring two kittens, maybe. I think we were getting XP. I think you fin get XP maybe every time you finish one of these. Or maybe it's per per work tick. Let's see here. Oh, well, there's the XP there. So this might level up the level four uh, life monk relatively quickly. I don't know that well, we do have some things that resist electricity in theory. We've got some earth uh, ones, which we've got a couple that we're going to be bringing with us. Oh, I'm hungry. I really am. I think I'm going to get some, uh, some chicken for dinner. I did see some XP tick up while we were working on the other project, but maybe it was coincidence. Maybe something else in the base finish that gave me XP. I'm betting these guys are healed now, so yeah. Um, so we're going to bring this Kativa with us. And then other than that... Weird Darkness is more attack. Defense is a little lower. I don't know. We'll bring Weird Darkness instead of the Fox. We, we don't... I don't think we have another strong combat Kativa. Oh, why the Rush Board drop a level? Because we're level 12, so while they're in our party... They get ma they get capped at level twelve. The rush board is actually level thirteen, but it's only counting as a level twelve currently. I'm gonna see if we can bring the uh, chipmunks uh, XP there. See now it's level five. I mean it's still pretty damn low, but it's also not gonna be running around on its own. We're gonna th throw throwing it on its our head and using it as a machine gun. We'll see. We're pretty close to level thirteen as well, which will upscale the rush bar, which is great. And I think the Kativa is also being downscaled from level thirteen. We we'll also have some new uh, tech unlocks at level thirteen, although I don't think we have the tech points. But we get some when we level up. So machine gun ability is cool. Then. So what I'm wondering is, you throw it on her head, let the machine gun ability gets used, swap to another pal uh, for a little while, then swap back to the life monk, use the machine gun some more. Uh, no, I don't think this is evolutions, although there is a apparently some sort of hybrid thing where you can combine two. What's the over-under on this game? I, much better than I expected. I thought it was going to be weird, janky stuff when I originally started seeing footage of this um, yesterday or the day before. Um, people were like, I was starting to get some press things, and I'm like, this seems stupid. Turns out, it's very compelling. This part's a little boring. Tiva just leveled up great. Yeah, so it's only going to count as level 12 currently. We could go and boop some random pals somewhere too, just to farm a little bit of extra XP. I wonder if um, the active... So the five that you have in your party get XP as you do things. I wonder if the one you have out might get more when we're doing battle. It might not make a difference. We are going to get at least six on the life monk. It still looks stupid when we go away, yeah. I know one of the, the one of the concerns was that this is the same company that made was it called Craft World? Now this is apparently a different team um, at the company, um, and arguably and Craft World has been in like early access for you know three years and has some some mixed reviews for various reasons, um, but it feels like they learned a lot making that, and so my instinct would have been a negative in the column of expectations for this based on the fact that they've got this other early access title and things, but it looks like it's really worked out well. And Craft World is still being worked on. They just, uh, they put out a, apparently there was a big patch in December. So just a month ago, there was another big patch. So it's still being actively worked on, it's not abandoned where. I mean, I haven't played it. So I can't really, you know, give extra feedback one way or another on that. I gotta say, like, I've gotta find a solution that doesn't involve holding down F for a million years. I need, like, a little weight on it. Or set up a macro or something on my computer. Use auto hotkey to just toggle down the F here. Is it Craftopia or Craft World? What's the, what's the other game that this, this company made? Your pals do this and exp Yeah, but I'm trying to do it faster. Like, the, the pals, I mean, they also don't work much at night. Um, 
they will come and they will work on it at the same time as I will. Let's grab those. Oh, yes, it's still being worked on too, and it's so slow. So yeah, what I'm the reason I'm doing this too is it is generating XP. Now maybe going and fighting will generate more XP more faster. Let's do this. Let's deploy um the life monk. Although it's, the night is dark. <laughs> it's like, and I don't want to use um, um arrows. Looking to see if we can just, at a glance, spot a different type. Well, we're not going after Mamarasto over here. Grab these things and at least bank them. Getting all these flame organs. We could make a bunch of flaming arrows. I'm just going to work alongside here and make these arrows faster. We're going to be at least level 7 on our life monk. I don't remember how long it took satisfactory devs to give up and give the players toggle for crafting instead of having to hold down a button. Yeah, well, don't don't start. Don't get me starting to talk about a satisfactory, or I'm just gonna upset people again. Hey, launchpad. That says machine gun. It's like other skills. It's passive. You don't have to. You can have it and another pallet at the same time. Oh, really? That is interesting. Well, the uh, it's still being built over there. Or hold on, is it done? Oh, it is done. Sweet. So you're deployed. Although I don't know if I can use the. There we go. Life monk recoil. I think he's... So where are you? You're probably working. So you've done that. No, I can't have another one out. Because... Yeah, I'm hitting E here, and nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> the monkey's got a gun! Alright, we're gonna have all the arrows. We've got a couple of Earth types who should be a lot tankier. Some of our pals have also gained an extra level, while some of them are level 13. It would be great to go in at level 13, but it might be a little bit long for us. Oh, you yeah, check this egg. Incubation complete. Large, damp egg. Pen King. Surprisingly, it's unrelated to Pengullet. Ever wanted to be the center of attention, this pal will strip its stuff for any onlookers. Yeah, we might just go and kill a few things. Um, right here. When fighting together, fire pals drop more items when defeated. Hmm. Gun. He's a glutton. I mean, it's very cool that we've unlocked another type. I don't know if this one's necessarily going to be a winner. It's dual type. We'll, uh, some of it might depend what kind of moves we can teach you. All right. Um, oh, yeah. We'll sort to reset our timers on food. Ooh, a lot. I'm so nervous. Grab a new egg. I mean, you'll probably complain about the heat, but deal with it. Um, so I'm not going to bring the copper key, because I don't think that actually is going to be required. Um, I'm going to drop the ingots. Fiber, the wool, we're going to bring... I don't think we're going to need the palace spheres, but I'll bring them with me, because it's not too much. Not like we're bringing one of the fancy ones with us. Alright, we have 455 arrows this time. And yeah, catch something along the way for some XP, perhaps, yeah. Alright, let's... First of all, let's throw Link Life Monk. Where are you? Get on my head. Okay, let's see what it's... No, don't pick up the wood. I mean, I can fast travel there, but let's, we'll just go down here and we'll... We'll grab some things from... Oh, there you go! Woo! We fixed it! Are you on cooldown? Oh, you might be on cooldown. These are all pretty low-level stuff. Maybe I will fast travel to... Oh. What is that? Hey! Oh! Ukrats! Oh yeah, hold on. I don't want to use my uh, arrows if I don't have to. You're new? I mean, I saw you in my other playthrough. I think they mostly come out at night. Damn it, you bastard! Get in there! You're about to die! Get in the ball! Get in the ball! Jeez! Oh yeah, okay, you get so much more XP from this. 
Oh! And you were also involved in the combat and died. Congratulations. I'm gonna keep walking down. How much did we get from killing him? Here. Oh, it's still on cooldown. So I'm assuming they have a certain amount of shots on your head, and then they go into cooldown mode. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish it off here. Uh, plus two level. Okay, so not very much XP. So you get tons more bonus XP from the kills again, or the captures, but again, uh, just those first ten, I think. Oh, you're murdering. No, damn it! I just threw my ball. I guess there's an extra one over here. I guess I could stop you from attacking. Maybe I should. Okay, let's see. Get on my head. Where the hell are you? Jeez. All right. Let's take on this deer with the recoil thing. Hopefully I'm not losing too much um, durability on my gear. Okay, well, now we know what it feels like and roughly how long it lasts. It's very entertaining. We've got one more sphere. Damn it. All right, it's fine. We'll just go. We might have been able to get some more levels, but that's fine. We're four minutes over and we got 10 minutes that we can potentially do this fight. So we're definitely going to overstream a tiny little bit. The balls seem to mostly disappear when they miss. I, I, it's been really weird and inconsistent. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We leveled up. We got a stat point. More health. Let's get you out of here. Actually, uh, we'll start with you. Oh, you're still on cooldown. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Skip. This is a great intro cutscene. Oh, I think I have to redeploy. Oh, I don't think I can hit you either. Nope. Um, that, well, I was going to say it would have been nice to dodge, but I guess I only took shield damage. And I forgot that my dodge cancels my uh, draw strength. Okay. We have, oh, no, Gunmoss isn't dead. He's just stunned. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Okay. There you go. He's still firing way over there. Dealing decent amount of damage is what it feels like. Nice miss there, Quill. Woo! That was a high... No, it must have been from Gun Moss. Or is it from me? Is it a headshot that's also critting? No, that's Gun Moss dealing huge damage. Go, go, type advantage. I wonder if there's any way to know what type the boss was before we came in here in the first place. Kind of hard to get the shots on her from this range. Yeah, stay away from Gun Moss. He's dealing huge amounts of damage to you. Ah! Forgot about the triple leap. A lot of leaping. Oh, you're lasering Gun Moss. Well, Gun Moss, come to me. There you go. And I'm going to redeploy you. Laser mode dodged. Although you don't have natural or just... See, I'm nervous this time. Last time I was like, well, this isn't going to work, so I don't care. Okay, you're done, so deploy. Run, 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 run. Oh, did they heal if I save them beforehand? Did they heal in my pocket? I mean, a little maybe. I don't know what we should do. Get in my head. Okay. I think we got to be pretty close for the uh, machine gunning to work, though. Um, thank you. Okay, that actually doesn't seem very useful. I think the range is too limited, and I don't know if it, they do it while I'm moving. I think I might have to stand still. Yeah. Actually, I might have to be firing. You say that, we couldn't get a second pal out when we tried. I couldn't get a second one out. I couldn't deploy it. I tried to hit E and when we were in camp. Yes, I have. I, we used a ground type. We were using this one here just to do the machine gun things, which is entertaining. But we're going to... Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, we're going to swap back to you. Our first ground type is already dead, unfortunately. And yeah, we'll try to do the save next time. I'm not convinced that we're doing better this time. I think the thing...
thing is, despite not having a type advantage, our cat was just so good. Fox may have done really good too. It's good, good attack. It's got a really good fire attack, despite not having a type advantage. Okay, shield's down, but that's fine. Um, I'm not sure the boar is very effective at actually landing these hits. There you go. I don't think the boar attacks very often. It does its charge. It's halfway dead with half the amount of time gone. We were, we were better than this last time. Oh, not even one of those hit. I think it, they got pillared, but the pillar's got maybe a little bit more of a hitbox than I'm giving it credit for. Because it's got the, um, what's it, what's it called? The rundling, gurbling? There's a term for it, for these, like, these little flavor details on it. I think its hitbox is larger than the visual model. And so when I think I'm just being clever and sort of skirting around it, I'm actually hitting it dead on. Or there's some sort of maybe aim assist. Greebling! That's the word. Thank you. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's very entertaining. All right, let's go. Um, I'm going to swap in the cat. I don't have the fox this time. The cat was a death machine. Like, look how many hits it gets. When it does its charge, it's a big multi-hit thing. So yeah, I'm not impressed by the boar. I think the... Um, Oh my god. I think the plant dude actually did a really good job. And it, it's too bad I didn't save him. Yeah, look at the health go down. This cat's a death machine! Danger? Where's the danger from? You're at half health, I guess. Bird, go. Yeah, the cat did so much damage. I think it, it was responsible for like 10,000 hit points in like a half a life bar. Bird seems to do okay, yeah, but the boar definitely was a disappointment. Only one of those hit. Ah, in danger zone, but you don't have aggro right now. Now you might. I wonder if I can accidentally, like, walk off this ledge. That would be poor. Or does big damage when it hits, but I don't think it fires fast enough. Cat, go. Yeah, it did, re it did heal some. Okay, that's excellent to know. Die! Yes! Victory! Ah, why are cats just the best all the time? Five ancient technology points. Oh, shit. We only got one for that other boss. Yeah, cat is melee as you should stay close, exactly. Yeah, the boar is just like a cool little ram attack, but that's all. Huh. I wonder if the town's got more things to say. There's also a desolate church we never grabbed the point for. There's a small settlement, but there is something over there with some fire? Oh, that's the camp. That's the bandit camp. That's what that is. Did we not visit this desolate church? I'm just gonna try to get to that point, and then we'll have to wrap up the stream. I gotta say, oh no no stamina stamina. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Um, yeah, I think this game's pretty good. So yeah, okay, we're gonna try again. So deploy, life monk. Hold hold F. Now, how do we deploy a second dude? I, I mean, I can cycle, and I can try to deploy with E, but nothing happens. I can't seem to deploy a second pal. Unless it's something you unlock later, or maybe only some pals can be in this mode while deploying a second one. It's a skill, apparently. It's a skill my pals will get, maybe? Yeah, he fires when you attack, yeah, yeah. Um, but people keep saying you can deploy a second one. It must be something that you need to do. It's not just automatic. Daydream plus daydream necklace, the only way I've seen to deploy multiple pets. Hey there, not Pikachu. Oh, I don't have any capture balls. Oh, no, I do. I, didn't do, I intentionally... Ah! Oh, didn't do a full poop. See, the, the ball went over here, the sphere, and then just disappears. So I'm not convinced... Maybe there's a chance you can recover a missed ball. Or maybe it's coincidence when it seems to, that like there just was a ball on the ground there that you were able to grab at the same time. I just want to grab this fast travel point. Works with Daydream, but their skill is permanent, unlike the SMG. 
Okay, so yeah, the SMG, because it's cooldown or it's active, the big thing just running all the time. Okay, listen, um, we're going to go and put a cut in here because I've been streaming four hours without a break because I'm terrible at managing my time <laughs> in, all the time. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the stream here and take a break. Uh, next scheduled live stream, Monday is um, Baldur's Gate. Wednesday is maybe Galsiv. Thursday, Baldur's Gate. Saturday, question mark. That's the, that's the accepted schedule. We might decide to do some more of this somewhere in there. If you haven't followed the channel, please do. You can also find me on youtube.com slash quill18 if you're new to the channel. For now, we're going to go ahead and raise a kiss for luck. Give her some love. Uh, I suspect at some point, not today, but I suspect at some point we'll probably do some multiplayer um, pal world with a kiss for luck uh, because I suspect this is very much her kind of game. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye, everyone.